Welcome, this is Crusader Kings 3 and I'm the Emperor where we play the game. I explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it in hopes of you being able to glean a little bit of insight on how to play this very fantastic game. And we are still in our Carpathia playthrough and our good boy Emperor Bistrik has just finally come of age. We already have our very first son which I have put on the martial focus. He is quick. Mm, it's not too great, but uh, it could be worse. And we are embroiled in a few wars here. Our main war at the moment is against the Pope. And against, well, we're in a holy war really. But we haven't raised our armies yet. We haven't decided where to go. Uh, wait, did I not have armies down here? I feel like I did. Maybe it was a different war. Well, I'll check the outliner if we have any armies. And so we do. Ah, yes, right. We are fighting a war in Finland right now. On parallel. So we are hoping this war will be done soon. It might not be. So maybe instead of putting these off the ships, we sail them down to the Italian coast. Or we just wait here. So we got this army in the back there. This isn't ideal. But I'm somewhat confident we can do it. At least we're not losing money, which is quite important to me. So, our first point, I wanted to go with the Scholar route. And so, we very much shall. Let's see, cultural fascination progress goes up bigly. We'll absolutely take that. Quicker research is a fantastic thing. Specifically, since we're working on bombards, which will help us in ongoing and upcoming rules. Now we could white piece out of this one. Uh, just to get on the papacy. But. We'll see. Maybe we can quicken this a little bit. And get through here. In a different way. Spoleto is under siege from the Pope. Now we have a bit of a problem here. These guys are starving. So we'll split the army like so. That will be enough to get them back on their feet. And this army here, like I really don't want to land them, but they will run out of food eventually. So I suppose we send them down to Italy and set them down here somewhere. That might be sensible. We haven't, sadly, we haven't seen the Finnish armies yet, but I am hopeful in some ways that they will just show up eventually. These are all hostiles. Oh god, is the game crashing? Oh, it just might be. How unfortunate. There was a bit of a technical issue. Some things have happened. Some things have transpired since I stopped the recording and started again. So we won the papacy war. The Pope is now landless and we gave this to our half-brother. Uh, Finland has joined the Empire. And the Byzantine Empire has also somehow gotten land up here. I don't know how they manage that, but they keep managing it. And Burgundy is also a force to be reckoned with. We just got a little bit beaten up in the crusade down here. Which is fine. Oh, look at that. We got a pair of twin daughters. Let's give them good servant of the lamb names. May you grow strong and wise, Maria and Sarah. Look at all this. Seven children already. Okay, let's check real quick if everyone has a focus. Yep, only the twins need a focus. So what should you be? You're Hale, so you, you get to be a warrior. And you are quick, so you will be learned, I think. Let's get you some matrilineal spousage. 
that works maybe decided despotate kingdom of palabia that's that's um internal thing that might be interesting that might be good just get that internal alliance going so i'm not too mad about being beaten here that just means it gives us some more time <laughs> Oh, what did we lose? Oh, no, what a shame. Let's stand our armies down. Very good. So now we are earning full steam ahead, and I think we can build some stuff again. Let's have a little look around. Uh, oh, right. I wanted to station our bombard somewhere. So we only really have Tarno, so we'll put them there. Meaning we will have to upgrade Tarno in a way where it benefits our siege weapons, which I think is blacksmith or workshop. Workshop. So this is what we're going to do. Just improve, improve, improve. But the first thing I want to improve is castles. Polish culture. Oh, we have to. We, oh, no. We have to convert culture here. I don't want to spend too much, as usual. Uh, we do have some stationed regiment of horse. Do we have anything else that helps horse? I think. The, the hillside grazing lands. So that will help. Make them even better. And of course we could upgrade at home as well. A little bit. Look at all this. Blacksmith. Level 3. Oh. Heavy infantry toughness, 90%. Men at arms maintenance, minus 10%. I mean, that stuff really, it pays for itself eventually. So, I think we'll go with it. And now we have to wait again. Save up a little bit. Oh! You want to give me carpets, huh? I've never heard that little scheme. No, we'll sell them. Thank you, 450 gold, right into our pocket. At the moment, I'm not too worried about spending money anymore because we saw that we can very comfortably fight wars while being capable of defending ourselves in terms of financial stress. Let's negotiate this alliance here. Do I want you to join my court, though, is the question. We'll go with this. It gives us more learning lifestyle experience if it succeeds, and if it doesn't, he just kind of dies, so. A life saved today. And another knight in the court. Another daughter and heir. Another hail one. So she will also be a warrior. Can we get you something cool? Oh, the Kingdom of Italy. I mean, we're well, well connected to them. So, we'll leave it open. Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion plus two. Well, we, we're not very devoted, but we'll take it anyway. I mean, it bumps us from 26 to 32, which is not bad. I can tell you this much. It's not bad. Bavaria. Can't negotiate an alliance here. Shame. Valachia. No. Let's see, are there any alliances we could negotiate here? Some ransoms. Oh, God. So our Byzantine alliance is done. And they will not negotiate an alliance. So. Let's see, are there any good claims out here? Anything that isn't just a few counties. I am not going to war with Byzantine Empire or counties. You can rest assured. Does no one here have a good claim? Are you all kidding me? I mean, that's, that's a duchy at least. But that's almost nothing. I want a kingdom or something. Duchy of Croatia, it just doesn't 
It's not highlighted, but it's somewhere down here. Mm. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? Yes. Yes, you would have a claim on the Byzantine Empire, wouldn't you? My beloved wife. Would you not have this claim? Well, that would be something, wouldn't it be? I think we could. I think we should. I think we just might. I mean, after all, we're bringing the Germans and the Franks in this as well. I think we will. All we really have to take is uh, Constantinople. She's, she's going to be independent. She's not going to be part of our empire. But our children will put our bloodline on the throne of Byzantine. So that'll be an upset in the Christian world. That'll be an upset for sure. Though we cannot ask our allies because we would be spending basically all of our prestige. So let's accumulate some more prestige because we would like to have enough prestige to bring in our allies for this if we do attempt it. And I should think we will. Uh, speaking of which... The existence of the murder you scheme is exposed. Ah, well. Wasn't wrong then. We'll destroy our... Trebuchets here. And pick us up another... Bombard... Regiment. And we'll put the big Bombard Regiment over into the place where the bombards are big bad bombards and then we'll pump this one here up to 10 as well which costs us all of our gold as is tradition but then the next war we go in with 20 bombards so we'll basically completely destroy everything Absolutely everything. Our well, half-brother will definitely be forced to be a knight. This guy as well. Inactive. We can restore this. Have a successor here. No successor there. No successor here. We lay with Lady Tolstoy and she becomes our lover. Is she any good at anything? Nah. I'm above these things. I got plenty women. I think all of our concubines should be lovers. So let's seduce away. Defeat. Huh? Ah, that was this one. That's fine. Another existence of the murder me scheme is exposed. Now is this different murder me schemes or are these all the same murder me schemes? Look at that money inflow. That's the power of empire. So Sweden is very cute. <laughs> oh, what happened up there? They're no longer Byzantine. How did they break from the Byzantine Empire? Crimea is no longer Byzantine. If they ever were, I don't even quite know. Sure, let's... Come on, leave me. Leave me in peace. Can I attack these? We have a county claim there. That's... Nah. Nah. 
What are our de jour claims on Sweden? Just this bit there. It's still 20, 22,000 men. 23,000 men. It's kind of insane. Do we have anything with Burgundy? Any beef there? No? Could try and take this thing. It's de jour ours. Oh, he has 40,000 troops for some reason. Who are you allied with? Duchy of Kent and Duchy of East Anglia. The British will help you, huh? I think we should take this back. It's a bit of a problem that they're not part of what they should be part of. I mean, this would be something. Our bloodline on the thrones of the two largest empires out there. We could destroy one of the empire titles as well. And then it's all won. But it would be a bunch of bloody wolves for sure. Fascinated with where Germany is going. Okay. What is she into? She's learned. We'll approach her tenderly as a friend. She's compassionate and everything. Ah, oh, yeah. That worked. Not that we need it, but... Oh, no. Someone is trying to murder the Pope that is in our prison right now. That is, that is unacceptable. I do not know. This cannot... I mean... If that were to happen, if he died in my prison, what would the Catholics think? Alright, so our bombards are still being put up. We have something in our throne room. Which isn't happening. Oh. A flesh wound. Let's see. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Philibert, a diplomat sent by my ally, King Philip of Germany. By the immense quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess. I, I was defenestrated by the wolf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to Krakow. Uh, however, as the rapscallion cushioned my fall, the diplomatic visit can continue. Uh, it will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. Let's see. Let's force him to get a physician. How about that? Yeah, 94% chance he's successfully treated and King Philip will like us for it. There we go. Let's hold some court. Let's see what the petitioners have to say. My vassal, King Rap. Oh my god. King Yurva is. Oh my god. <laughs> my vassal, King Rapporto, opens a hand before stepping before to voices petition. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of thieves stealing from Passau and its people. He pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. I ask you for any aid that you can spare. Um, I won't give you gold. My steward can help you. Good God. What a specimen. A giant and robust. Holy heck. The unrepentant King Jorvar graces you with his presence. Haltingly, he begins. My emperor, I am a loyal and willing subject. Let me practice my faith in peace. We Catholics worship God just as the servants of the Lamb do. Leave your Christian brothers to worship as they please. United against the wicked infidels who follow false demons and allow Satan to corrupt their hearts. Judgment deserves reserved for is for well, judgment is reserved for God alone. So we'll let him. Or 
I will just show him the words of Saint Catherine and he will be absolutely 100% convinced. So we'll do that for sure. Let's see. My impressive knight Himil bows before me, his trusty sword glinting at his side. I have served you faithfully, Malik. You know my charge against Malik Dulaf of Castella amidst the forest of Mamaya. But I am no longer young. I bid you invest me with my own lands in your empire. Other lords have been given more for far less. Oh, um, less you say. I do not appreciate your tone, knight. Yeah, I really don't. You're not great. I mean, he's an acclaimed knight and everything, but... Bye! I tend to not be, you know, blackmailed by my own people. <laughs> so what's going on here, huh? I see a friendship on the horizon. That's what I'm seeing here. So we definitely want a whole lot of gold if we ever want to take on the Byzantine Empire. We don't need a whole lot of gold to take on these rascals. Uh, but we should put this guy to improving our commanders while we're not actually having any arms raised. Uh, the prized armor. Nope. It will be destroyed. Goodbye. We're slowly going to lose all those superfluous little... Things that we don't really need. Little trinkets and stuff. We can transfer Countess Zabislava. <sighs> Ooh. Where is this? Ah, yeah, sure. Right now I'm not super threatened, so we can just transfer some vassals here. That's perfectly fine. Let's see. King Ladislav has told me of a vision from God. Apparently Queen Mikova and I are divinely ordained to be friends. How advantageous. We shall tell Mikova about this vision. <laughs> Let us pray together in gratitude. Plus 5% success chance. We'll take it. And we're pushing money. Domain is slowly inching forward, taking over church holdings as an income stream. Let's see. A brilliant plan now. We'll lose some progress, but I'm not spending 900 gold on, on befriending someone. That is just very, very unacceptable. I will upgrade the windmill for sure. That's a good investment. That immediately pays for it. Almost immediately pays for itself. Well, what I wanted to do is uh, convert our culture here. So we want these guys to be Slovian. I'll sacrifice some of our progress. Because if they're not Slovian, we can't upgrade our castles here. Speaking of Slovian, what are we interested in right now? Ah, yeah, we're in, interested in sappers. Five years. And we are being pushed here. So this is the big difference, yeah? With our learning focus and everything, we are twice as quick as just without it when we focus on something. It's... Honestly, it's kind of crazy. But also very important. Let's see, another commander promoted. Yeah, you can serve me. Take him as another knight. Let's get you a spouse. You can have her. He's athletic. Alright. Let's demand her conversion because I don't want to have anyone who isn't part of our religion in our court sitting around doing nothing. Speaking of which... How are our vassals doing in terms of religious affiliation? We're looking for this little sheep symbol here. And we want to see it everywhere. Everyone needs to be that. 
Everyone needs to be a servant of the lamb. Looks good. Looks quite good. Yep. Everyone is a servant of the lamb, as well they should be. Oh. A ransom for the Pope? No, I should think not. I do not think that wise. Do you? Oh, we can declare war on Ireland? Oh, we can get the whole of Ireland? Well. Do we want Ireland? <laughs> I'm, I'm very baffled that we have no Casa Spelli against Burgundy of all places. They're so big. Usually the big ones are where you can easily kind of go in. Oh, look at that. Our vassals are gobbling up territory out here. I like that Norway is literally just for the land, I think. No, it's uh, Sergen, but <laughs> that's good. Alba. Alba is quite big. The Kingdom of Lothringia, cute. Frisia. The Grand City of Veneto. Grand City of Veneto. Okay. I mean... Maybe? So it would just be this city. But Venice did encroach here, I think. We'll definitely take these pieces now. We'll just seize de jour these lands. And we move the flag a little bit away because it might take a moment for our troops to be raised. So I'll raise all men at arms here. Ten days left. Yeah, and that's why I moved them away a little bit. And we'll raise the local army as well. That should do it. So our archers are unrestrainedly attacking. Our heavy infantry, uh, our heavy cavalry is a little bit. Oh, that is unfortunate for you, my lad. That is extremely unfortunate for you. That was quick. I'm not sure if it was painless, but it was for sure quick. So now let's get the Venetian city here. And we'll... We push this. The Kingdom of Galicia, Bologna. No, I think his claim is a little bit more true. So we'll do the same thing again. Raise our men-at-arms and raise the local army there. I used to wonder what the heck that was about. Local army, men at arms. Like, why why do we have these two selections? Because it mimics basically how it used to be. How you could just select certain troops to be part of a battle. Or to be part of raising. Pedagogy. I'll take it because I want to keep the scholar tree, basically. We gain watchful for two years. We are being uh, told about... Okay, Ladomir wants to... Okay. Prison. I didn't look. Did this give us any... Bad stuff? I think. I'm not executing him for sure, but he goes to the dungeon. I don't know if that gave me any tyranny. That's what I was wondering. Alright, you organize the army so we earn big money. While our army is doing big things here. And Venice lands, but literally we don't care. Schema discovered. Who's plotting? Oh, I don't care. Enjoy. So even if they come with 15,000 troops against our 11, the, the quality here 
They will not be beat. Wait, we didn't seduce her? Darn. She's even less likely to be seduced? Okay, 95%. Oh, I, I overwrote it with befriend. I can have two sway schemes, but I can't have just two friendly type schemes, basically. So that was the problem right now. But I'm happy that the save game is kind of working still. Let's fight this army. And it will be led by this knight. See, they... They just... We would be defending here as well, so... They have no chance. Deals 10% damage due to being countered. Yeah. That's not looking good for Venice, so... We'll finish this little war. And we'll disband all our troops. And I think the Duke was fighting them as well at the moment. Probably for the same thing. But that pushes Venice back into its boundaries where it belongs. Oh, look at all this. What happened down here? Can I finally... Oh, yes. Yes. We can finally attack these guys. Is it only a holy war? Artifact claim. Oh my god. I do want Spain. Spain is a pearl to have. It is extremely strong. Artifact claim wars. I just... No. Um... No. No ransom for the boy I just put in prison. For good reasons. Can't take Crimea. Can't take this thing. Can't take anything here. I mean. Could take that little bit of Sweden there. They're already losing heavily. So might as well. Take these two. Counties there. But do I want to is the bigger question. Not so much. I was considering going on a pilgrimage for a second and then I saw the price. Well. I suppose that's not a pilgrimage for us then, in this case. Oh, the Byzantine Empire is dealing with a little bit of internal turmoil. Would you look at that? Let's see, beneath those layers. Ah, uh, we'll be gallant and charming for sure. Who would have known what happened? Okay. Someone was born out of wedlock, sure. Our seduction scheme did go a little bit further. And we have yet another heir. Ah, yes. Our, our daughter will be named after our childhood crush and current concubine, Horislava. So she will be a schemer because her mother. <laughs> um, shall we go with another Itali Italian prince? No. We'll leave it. England has a little bit of... Interesting. That is very interesting. Should we? Our dear sister-in-law. I think we should. Let's see, what is our religious... ...reach? We do still hold Jerusalem. Which I think is kind of weird. Still, I, 
I don't quite know how that happened, but it did. Westrankia is held by the Catholics. But if we take Ireland, there's more servants of the Lamb to be had over there in the Catholic West. What's going on here? What are you fighting for anyway? Okay, just for a different claim. No one is fighting for independence in the Byzantine Empire ever. Such a shame. So sending our troops there will take a little while. I think best we send them from here. But we'll take it. We'll press your claims. Let's put our orange flag there. Let's raise our men at arms and the local army. And I believe that should be enough. How many are we facing? Tch. 5,000. Oh, our German alliance has expired. We're... Okay, you don't want to negotiate an alliance. All right. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. I have no need for your books. Can we get an alliance through marriage? Yes, we can. We'll take it. I'm not really looking to fight Germany anytime soon. So 7,000 troops against 29,000. Okay, that's not enough. So we'll click on raise all here and immediately stand down a bunch of these. We only want one more army to come in here. So now we have our German alliance again. 16. Ah, it's fine. Stop gathering. 28,000. That's plenty. And we'll land directly in Dublin. And there's a new heir. <laughs> My God. Let's find you a spouse. Nah, we don't. But look at that. 10 children. Let's get you a matrilineal spouse. The Kingdom of Burgundy. There we go. We'll take that. Matrilineally, sure. The succession is safe, yes. Sure is. Ah, yes. Very good. So, um, join me in the circle for the next dance. A walk in the garden. What an evening we had. Organizing the army still. Very good. Let's see. She isn't worth it, mate. This guy becomes loyal. Okay. Sure. Not that I need him to be loyal. So having Ireland is mainly just a way to exert some control out here. Project some force. Because then we can raise armies right on the islands and we need not sail around and stuff. Mm. Do we raise her taxes? She barely has any money anyway. I don't need it. We'll take the favor hook.
and will land directly atop them, which is generally something you want to avoid. Because it really isn't ideal. But again, with the kind of army we have, I'm not too fussed about it. Ah, very good. Our concubine becomes our lover. So we'll start an attempt here. It's very balanced. We might lose it. I think we're losing it, actually. Which is because we landed there. That wasn't a good idea. Purchase a truce. Yep. I'll take it. So we lost this battle here. But that's okay. I'm not worried. We'll turn it around. That was only because we were landing. A rival died. And unless they come here to defend... We'll just go siege ourselves a little bit so we have a better place to retreat to next time we lose. Actually, we can just take this. They're not going to come and defend it. Might as well. I'll put the siege lad in again. And the logistician trait is also pretty, pretty darn strong. Makes it last longer. You're going to have more, but it lasts longer, which comes down to having more, basically. And another set of twins. Our player, Aaron's son. You are quick, you become learned. And what about your sister? She is also quick and also becomes learned. We might as well also attack um, the Kingdom of Alba directly. Like here we're taking something that's part of the war, which is usually good. We could walk or siege our way through here. We basically want to take places so we can have a supply chain, kind of. So now we've taken this, that's good. I wonder. I think we should increase these guys. We might switch these around as well and where they're stationed because we can have more of these. So more of these means more damage. Could also get more of these guys. They're pretty good. And I do like me some pike. We'll just throw some more in there. Pump it up to 12. And of course, I tend to forget. Gotta continue here. Oh no. Another battle we're gonna lose. I didn't know he was coming, so I ran into that. Fine, we'll send more troops. I can see it is not as easily done as I thought it might be. So we'll send more troops. The Irish and the British are ferocious, ferocious foes. 8,000 more, that should suffice, should it not? Now the question is, where will we retreat to if we lose? Gain the stress level. Do we become irritable? Stress loss, dread again. I found it to be fairly decent. We're not great in a diplomacy sense anyway. I don't want to lose money. That is not what I like. I think we'll go with this. And we're actually winning the battle. Interesting. So we can send our reinforcements here. 
Would not have thought that. That didn't look good for us. Allied combatants slain. Oh no. Our half brother died. It's a big shame. Demand artifact. What do you want? Prize necklace. I'm wearing that. Stop it. Yeah, look at the siege progress. That's just crazy. And the enemy is marching right past us. Interesting. Alluring confidence for a year. Okay. Oh. Her learning is increased. I get focused raising. Ah, that's fine. So we can just snatch the Irish army. Right there. While they wait for their Scottish allies to arrive and save them. Nah. We'll just fight our way south. I don't care about men. He can have the Isle of Man. We'll fight our way through here. And take Dublin. Yes. The king. Thank you. I like it when they visit so you get some renown. That's really mainly what I care about when they come. So the English are likely going to cross the channel here. To come south. So we'll just go and see if maybe we can't catch them as they try. I know I don't see them. Learning perk, open-minded, different culture, cultural acceptance, minority vassal, sure, sure, sure. Nothing bad in there. Nothing super good. But with the many cultures that we do have at home, it is fairly worthwhile. Look at all these lovely little prisoners we have. I don't want to release any because we have someone in there that is a important hostage in this war. Ah, well, look at that. Did we take the king? Big shame. So now Carpathia has a standing here. Taken on Ireland. Which we definitely like. All right, some of our stuff is being built. You can go back to improving commanders, a new daughter and heir. You will be, what will you be? Hail, so you go into the military focus. Let's see. What next? <laughs> oh, would you look at that? There are some claims here. Oh, yes. I think we'll unite Ireland. I think. I think. I think. I believe that's what's going to happen. The Scottish just showed their true colors. So, we'll raise all here. Stand down a bunch of these. And we can always just try and get more later on. But we also want to ensure that we raise all men at arms. Because if you raise all like I just did, some of these armies will have some of your men at arms. Um. Okay, you want this lad as our. Sure. Fine. He can be our commander. It doesn't really matter. Ally joins the war of the enemy. Oh no. Look at that. 25,000. 
So I don't quite know how many we'll have once this is fully raised, but looks like more than them. And we can go back to organizing our army to keep costs down. We'll raise fully. Shouldn't be too much more. And now we just go and fight him. I accept the challenge. Our prize against his prize. No. Quarrel is... What's this? Hated Swain, I'm the son of Queen Vratislava, and the time has come for you to answer for your vile misdeeds. Face me, or the world will know that you are unwilling to defend your own honor. As I turn around, I am met by the burning eyes of a man consumed by the desire to defend the honor of his mother. My guards are still nearby. If I wish I could have this hothead thrown out, humiliated and impotent. My quarrel is with your mother, not with you. <laughs> okay. I accept the challenge. But since we are calm... Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll get him. High likelihoods. Very high. High risk of injury. Okay. Attack first, attack hard, on guard. Let's see. We'll go with what has the best green option. Strike, parry, repost. I am victorious. So, but we do need to do something. Am I, am I shy? No. So we can have a feast. At home. In Krakow. Which causes us, doesn't cost us too much, but... We'll get a little bit of a stress relief out of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's bringing in more troops. I don't care. He's split right now, kind of. So we'll catch some of his troops. I think. Not all of them. Which is good for us, because that way we get to beat on a certain amount of them. And the others will have to come in and reinforce. We got the monumental achievement. So we're killing these here right now, and then we go kill them. But he did muster quite a few more than I figured he would. We'll teach him a lesson. The Empire of Carpathia has come to reunite the Irish. I will not let some Scotsman get in the way of that. I've seen Outlander, I know what you people do. Ah. Ah. Oh, they're countering our heavy cavalry. Pretty properly, too. That's why we're having such troubles. Our skirmishes aren't count uh, countered properly anyway, so... And we have yet another son by Horislava, Bartholomew's Isaac. Yes. 14 children. Yep, yep. Oh no, Horislava died giving birth to him? Our beloved. Our beautiful, beautiful Horislava. Become a good steward. Be dutiful. Your mother would want it. We need a new concubine. Quickly. The 16-year-old Yaroslava. Are you good at all? You are a bastard. I mean, that doesn't make you bad. Come on now. And... We should immediately try and seduce her. I prefer my concubines to also be my lovers. I find 
Carnal Congress without love to be... Not what I want out of that. So, love there should be in this, indeed. Oh my god, the, the speed of the sieging is just incredible. Mind, we're still on three speed, so it's not even fast. The power of the bombard. King Rolfes died. Who took over? Who took Burgundy? You. Can't negotiate an alliance. Okay. There he comes again. We'll catch him as he crosses a straight. Now, a, a straight crossing is about the same problem for your troops as landing off a ship. So if you look at this here, it should be somewhere. Where is it? Mm. Oh, he's Forder. He doesn't get that. All right. So it's uh, he doesn't get the penalty. That's fine. Let's start with our feast. Okay, so if you don't have Forder, then straight crossings are pretty dangerous. Who are you? My matriarch? Why don't we talk more about you instead? Let's get closer to forming that friendship. Nah, no feast is complete without a prank. Let's see. This subject also fascinates us. We made a friend. Lovely. And we should do... Oh my god, the prank went wrong. Poor Surid. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Very good. Let's see. So everyone gets 20 opinion of us. Or this is where I want to be. Lose honor and 70 stress. We'll go with that. I want to eradicate the stress. Where do we need to go? There. Ah, very good. Finish the feast. Thank you all. Good feast it was indeed. Do we have important prisoners here? No. So everyone we do have to ransom here, we can ransom. So let's do that here. The only person we want to exclude is the Pope if he's still alive. Go the rank. So he's excluded from mass action. Everyone else will just go and ransom. The Pope stays where he is. That'll be a nice little thing in our coffers here. Let's see, what is she into? She's brave, trusting, and impatient. Let's go with poetry for her. Everyone deserves to know the truth. A reasonable point, Miss Lava. No, 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 no. You like us well enough. We, we, can, we can deal with a difference in opinion here. And we did the right thing here. Writing that poem. All of our little prisoners are being uh, ransomed. Well, almost all of them. This guy not. But the 100 gold. Oh, we take that for sure. With great certainty. Well, where where are Alba's great armies? Where are they as I take this place at my leisure? 
Oh yes, fascination sappers, just in time while we are sappering away. So, do we go with rightful ownership? Not really. Cranes, building construction time, minus 15%, not super important. Domain limit, I like that. Uh, because right now we have 8 out of 8, but that is stewardship, home estates, Slovian and emperor. So, with the stewardship, we could lose plus 1 in there. So, I think... I think we would go with domain limit. And next then Renaissance thought. And maybe promissory note after that. And there they come again. The brave Scots. Ready to try and take their Irish lands out of our hands. Well, that was a little bit too late. Okay, and Frankia is calling us to war. We will join. Let's see. Let's be entertained. Riddle poems. I don't think she would be about something pious. Improvement of the moral qualities would give us a chance to learn. We'll go with the brittle poems. Ah. Very good. So there isn't really any way to tell what is the right answer for these. You can make an educated guess, but it is just that. Oh, look at that. We're fighting England. How very unfortunate for England. Oh, uh, wait a moment. Okay, West Rankia is fighting for a whole claim on England. Well then. How many troops does England have? 40,000. Oh, we might be in trouble here. Unless the French join us. Um, domestic disputes. This is unacceptable! The way she, she... She's such a bore. Sophia motions furiously with arms. Can't you do something? Let's see. Carpathia and Ireland. Yeah, you missed a bunch. Good evening, Fusion Warrior. Welcome. Um, I'll go over some of what you've missed in a moment. Let's see. I will go with this. 42% chance of good things happening. 57% chance of also good things happening. It's not bad. We improve the relationship. So, um, we have taken Finland... We have taken the papacy, and we have um, taken the lands from the Pope, so the Pope is unlanded now. He is still a Catholic, we can't do anything about that. But, well, Jerusalem, or rather Rome, is in firm hands of the servants of the Lamb. And it also stopped all those silly, 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 silly absolutely crazy... Wars. Oh, I should demand conversion here. Okay, so the British troops are all down there fighting the Franks. So we don't have to worry about anything up here. Except for our supply. That's good. The fervor fever broke, yeah. <laughs> we can only hope so. Uh, let's create us a nice little siege army. Bombards and bombards. And let's kick in these armored footmen that we were given at some point and throw a few levies on top here. Just so we can deal with any squatters. Let's kick out the siege master from this army. Put this guy in. Let's get him here. And these guys will split. I will have to split them a bunch. I just want to take on some supplies, so... You're a miserable hussy. Oh, boy. She doesn't want to be... Our concubine doesn't want to be our lover? This seems to be a pattern. I'm not sure I like it.
Let's try and seduce the other concubine there. How are you doing, Fusion Warrior, anyway? Everything good? New learning perk, very good. So now we can split these and send half there. Let's see. Apostate. I seized a glass orb. Good stuff. I mean, it's a Saturday. If you can't wake up late on a Saturday, when can you, right? <sighs> yeah. I tried to put that up, but it doesn't work, I think. Thank you for trying, though. I appreciate it. I might have to switch to Nightbot or something. I should destroy that glass orb thing. I don't need it. Money in the bank. We become obese? Ow. How did that happen? So what am I fighting in Cumberland? Yeah, take the most pointless path, please, if you could. Yes, my queen. Thank you. Welcome. I appreciate it. Should acquire a rare book for her. A handkerchief with my crest on it. Let's go with that. Seems very inexpensive and potentially effective. Alright, where are... Where are his troops? Ah, she liked it. Lucky us. Oh! Uh-oh. There are his troops. And mine die now. Yep, completely destroyed them. Okay. Big whoops. Big oopsie. Big nope. That wasn't supposed to happen. I you know what. He he can he can have the job. I don't care. It's fine. But move this here. Raise all men at arms. And raise all locals. And we might move these back a little bit to here. That way he would have to cross a river potentially to come for us. And we lost all our siege equipment right now. I don't think we're getting it back. Oh, would you look at that? 1,000... Oh, no, 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 no. Big, big, big mistake on my end. Ah, well. Another... Another failure of the Carpathian military leadership. I keep running into these recently. I must say. Well then, looks like Carpathia needs to bring a few more people to the table. That happens far more often than I should like it. Let's see, something pious. Nah. Learning? Nah. Let's go with entertainment on the riddle poems. Which she enjoys, apparently. Okay. Can I raise my men-at-arms now? Can I get my bombards back? The few that I have already. 
I mean, yeah, we'll help him. We gain a bit of learning experience, it's fine. So the French are still beating the English, kinda, but that army joining here might turn the tide. Yep, and so it did. Big shame. The English are defending this very valiantly here, I must say. Then again, I'm not a great ally to be have. Oh no, Pope Anastasius died? That is so unfortunate. Who's the new one? Pope Urbanus, who has zero claims on anything I took. So he just sits in Rome. All nice, all quiet. <laughs> Should we befriend the Pope? Ah, we might after seducing that concubine of ours. We are ill? You know, a number of suitable options. Let's do no more than is necessary. Excellent work. Well done, my lad. Good thing I improved his learning just now. Oh, no, we're back to we're back to the Crusades. To hurt. That's where are we going? Sure. Okay, so now it's even worse. It says servants of the lamb. But it isn't for the servant of the lamb still. Still the same problem as before. Let's see. A younger person, ideally. Maybe this guy. Yeah. <sighs> At least the game isn't crashing all the time anymore. I had that recently on this save game. While fighting the Pope. Something was constantly triggering a crash. Ah, finally. Our other concubine becomes our lover. Okay, now let's try and befriend the Pope, shall we? 98% chance that it works. Maybe it's due to the combined fervor of servants and Catholicism being over 100%. Phew. Maybe? Um, so our fervor is 93%. And... Catholics is 72%. I mean, I don't know. Maybe? We shall go straight for the capital now. I will even take the financial hit of crossing by ship. In a rare move of generosity on my end. Let's see, minute arms rate maintenance goes down. Yeah, I think we'll go with the men at arms maintenance going down a little bit. It's very expensive, mind. Nah, it's too expensive for my blood. Let's check if we have... I mean, we have new holdings as well, so... Those might be a little bit better, easier. Let's upgrade this. Can build something entirely new. Which should probably be... Okay, we have heavy infantry here. I see nothing for heavy infantry specifically, so we could just go with workshops or militia camps or something. I think we'll go with cattle pastures. Cheap gives us money. Oh yeah, these places all need help. What have we stationed? Bombards. So, windmill? 
It's not the county capital. We can't do that here. Stationed men at arms damage plus ten percent. Holding taxes plus four percent. Nah. Let's pump the holding taxes a little bit. Some more cattle pastures. Where do we have farms? Farms and fields? No. Don't have that here. So we'll go with hill farms then. And here... We'll just get in the small stuff first. Another bit of hill farms. Pump the income where we can pump the income for cheap. That's very helpful at the moment. Siege weapons 200. Very good. That's what we want to see. What's the Catholicism fervor? Uh, it's somewhere in the 70%, I think. We gained the Imperial Crown. What? Flan's Crown gains Imperial Crown. Huh? What does that mean? What does that mean? Huh. Let's see. How much does it cost us? Minus 6%. How much is that? It's not too much. Oh god, what? You can still use schemes even if you're incapable. Yeah, okay. Let's repair this. For a lot of money. <laughs> But apparently it is now the Imperial Crown, and it gives us plus 10 vassal limit. I mean, that's pretty crazy. We'll take that. Learn on the job. 20% of counselor primary skill added to your own. That is a big one. Watch that. 9, 9, 15, 11, 35. 14, 12, 18, 14, 36. <laughs> Let's go lose weight. I am not looking to roll back the... I'm not looking to roll back the, the version. I've never done that. I mean, they're not really infinite. The last Pope did stop. It's just a new Pope that's doing it. Plus, I don't think it's fair to have a bug report for uh, playing on a version that was before the last upgrade. They do tell you very specifically and very clearly that your save game is incompatible, so you shouldn't play like that. So really, it's my own fault doing this. Oh. Blooded Blade. What do you want? The city of Tuzara, which I do not know where that is. There. Your request is granted. Have the city. I'll have the gold, thanks. Find the gold much more intriguing than the city, trust me. I think we'll split this army here. And siege twice. Ah, oh, that's true. He can't declare war while in prison. Now, that might have been... A contributing factor to why it stopped. Speaking of why it stopped. 
Our troops are starving, which I don't appreciate. Okay, we'll just unstarve them before we do anything else. Wait a moment. This place had 37,000 supply limit? That is crazy. The, the capitals eventually become really, really strong for this. That is crazy. 37,000. Okay. How much does Krakow have? 44,000. Okay. Not so crazy then. A new Marshal. And we'll put the lad in. Who is the best lad for the job? I do believe in nepotism, but... I should think this is better. Okay, everyone's taking on supplies again. Very good. It'll take a while. Well, if I unpause, maybe they take on supplies again. We're no longer ill. Also good. Should probably hold court. Another flesh wound. Force the man to do the right thing. Good, good, good golly. How often will this guy do this? Alright. Let's hold some court. Let's see. My lord, I come from the religious community of Mielchik. In the county of Tarno. There, wise and pious men have been collecting and preserving the tradition and knowledge of Polish culture for centuries. As a sign of our goodwill, I offer this precious anthology of Polish texts. Um. Stay and teach me more. Bilingual readings for 10 years. Sure. I'll take it. Let's see. Greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the kingdom of Frisia, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of King Goz's subjects. I would be happy to tell, sell you these for a price. Um, my court has no place for the likes of you. Go away. My lord, I have to tell you that the people are intensely dissatisfied with your Empress Sophia. We fear that her recent behavior is not becoming of a good and loyal empress. And we demand that you do something about it. <laughs> um, I'm sure if you looked at it another way. Let's go with that. That worked. Successful negotiation. All the court grandeur accumulated now. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, we're finally taking on supplies again. The accolade nonsense is at least confirmed a bug and will be worked on. Okay, no. I want to be happy about this, but there's a lot of accolade nonsense. What bit of the accolade nonsense is known a bug and is worked on? <laughs> Another thing happening. Saucy readings. Culture comes in any form. Let them read. I like that. Oh, look who's coming again. When creating the accolades in the inter... Uh, the accolades... What? When creating the accolades, the interface allows you to manage the eligible knights by force allow for bid. Alright, okay. Unfortunately, when you're looking for a successor, those options aren't available. So you need to manually force the knight to serve. Alright, okay. Well, that's something, I suppose. It's not a lot, but it's something. Okay. Our son has some secrets. Oh, look at that. They're attacking us. What a brave and uh, interesting new choice.
Oh, looks like he has made up his mind to do something else. Have a look into this discreetly. Sure, we'll check. I'm not paranoid, so there's a chance that she's actually cheating. Which is a funny thing to say. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, she has a lover. Everyone will know you are of your infidelity. You're done for. Isaac becomes pensive. Alright. Thank it. I knew she was unworthy of my attentions. We're no longer lovers. I tire of this farce. We'll tire of this farce. I don't quite understand what that means, but it's okay. Very good. We fought back the English. So we can start sieging some more stuff. I will investigate this myself. Do you have another? I mean, I already know that, don't I? Didn't, didn't I just uncover this? Am I taking crazy pills? Victory. Very good. What? How am I still... I, what? I was obese before. Why, why am I obese? What? Game? Are you silly? I'm s I never lost obese. Ooh, we will go for a run trait. Athletic potential? I always take that. Darn. Only got the exercise, but that's still that's still not bad. But athletic would have been great, especially since we're already strong. Okay, so West Francia is a little bit bigger now. A little bit bigger. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little claim we have there on Alba. But no, we shall turn our... Uh, now we're no longer obese. Very good. We shall turn our attentions to the looming holy war. And then we'll try and see if we can't finally get an, a regular war here going, you know. For a duchy or something. Like, let's get this lady here. And get ourselves Valencia. Nice little claim. Good old-fashioned feudal shenanigans here. And the Pope's our friend. And we will eventually press our Empress's claim against the Byzantine Empire. Eventually. Uh, let's get some more alliances in for that, though. See, I have a lot of daughters and stuff. Okay. Son? Oh, yeah. Very good. These two. Burgundy. And... Grand Emirate of Egypt. No. Germany. Wouldn't you like a daughter of mine? No. Wouldn't you like a son of mine? Yes. Very good. I mean, I have, I have plenty. I have 14 kids to choose from. Oh, oh the crusade has started. Right, so where do we launch from? What is it even for to hurt? So... This bit there. Okay. I suppose we start here in the papacy. Let's bring forth the orange flag. And we'll raise all here. But we're not raising everyone, of course. 
We're just raising a bunch. A bunch and our men in arms. Basically all we're gonna raise. And we'll set to organize army. Yeah. Oh! My king, you bring such plentiful gifts. I appreciate it. Okay, I think that's enough. We'll stop all of these. And... We'll raise once more just for men in arms, but we already have everyone out, so... That's enough. I want to earn money still, even while at war. Our ruinous days are done. Okay. Let's go directly for it. See if we can't manage for once. How long is this? Oh god. Four years. That is gonna take forever. Let's see what we can upgrade. We'll go with the smaller upgrades first again. Okay. No smaller upgrades left. So let's improve our heavy infantry uh, cavalry even further. They are worth it. And another... Daughter. But she's not in my court, is she? No, she is. But she's not my child. Okay, the game just got completely confused, I think, for a second. It's not my child. Okay, so we'll dismiss this concubine. We'll break up with the lover. And... She's gone. Alright. All good again. Everyone in their rightful place. And we need a new... Concubine. Um, we used to have... Present debutants in Crusader Kings 2. Where you could get new women. Let's go meditate in seclusion onto where we might find women. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go. Spend monies, receive women. Aye, aye, aye. That's exactly how it works. Oh my god. We're going very, very far here. That's all right. So we'll be the first to arrive, and we'll probably also be the first to get absolute bonkled. I don't even know where the others are going. It's a mystery to me. Well, we didn't get bonkled. Let's go get Satif. So we've taken the first little siege and city, meaning the Crusaders have a safe-ish place to retreat to. By claim interaction. Okay, sure. But... I'm quite certain we'll get piled on. Could try and catch them here. But everyone is moving there from their end. Whereas, of course, all the Crusaders are going nowhere. Like, what are you even doing? Like, I would like to catch the end tail of this army moving. You know. Like so. You know, get a good bunch here. A lot of them are already moving in different directions, so we cut off a good line of reinforcements for them. And I'll show you, like, this is all looking correct now. 
We have our beneficiary. We get the rank. Okay. Now we might get crushed here. Because now these armies are piling in on us. And they are in their territory. So this might go badly for us now. Maybe. Maybe the other crusaders feel like coming now. You know. Maybe they feel like it's a good idea to reinforce their best army. Oh, it looks like the crusaders have actually made a choice. To not bumble around the desert. Our king was killed. All right. Ah, sure. Build your temple grounds. Enjoy. I don't need your money. So we even got our... No, nope. we don't have a beneficiary here. And that to me is kind of like the, the, the sign that it's completely bonkled. And not working. You'll see. We'll get zero contribution once again. And we'll just stay here. Siege this down. Um, I think the only real way for me to do that is to reform the faith again. Or to mend the schism. But no, other than that, I don't think there is a way. Yeah. <laughs> That is a certainty. One is definitely much easier than the other. I mean, this looks like a successful crusade in my eyes, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Even if it's won, like, we had successful crusades before and all that happened was basically... Oh, come on. Another of our concubines having a lover on the side. They're not even just our concubines. They love us. <laughs> I mean, once we're done with this one, we're going to start a new one. That's all that's going to be. So it's fine. But yeah, you, I can't teach about crusades because they're completely borked. Say, your contribution was nothing. You get nothing. I would like to disagree. And even though the crusade was successful, nothing happened. And yeah, he's he's on the spree now. And I can't even go like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not going. I can't do that anymore either. Because now it's Order of the Lamb. Now they think it's, it's real. <laughs> you know? Ah. Uh, it's just such a mess. Sure, let's stop being rivals. I'm fine with that. Aren't already doing that? We'll do that in our own castle this time. Yeah, though, honestly, there's not much left to teach. I, I, we, I think we have looked at almost everything. Uh, so if you wanted to go through the whole... Uh, the whole playlist, then you would probably get most things that are important to play the game properly. <laughs> okay, so he has already finished this tree, but now he needs to leave his own mark. What would he be? Glory, kin. Oh man, he's definitely a bounteous loins kind of guy. He has 14, 15 kids. Architected ancestry though. That might also be it. Like he's... Hmm. Well, 
What do you say? It's either architected in, in uh, ancestry or bounteous loins. One of these is what he's known for. He's very learned, but we filled that up. So, which one of these is going to be? Bounches. All right. Go with that. Let's have even more children. <laughs> uh, let's have a quick look. We have a lot. We have a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So... If we create a new one... I mean, we could. But I would just like to reform this one. <sighs> well, we have to go for Cologne. <laughs> Uh, I think, I think I do. We definitely have the uh, apostate. So, but I think it's this one here. It's one of these. This one here, profit. That's the one. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Shaktum of Valencia. It's a little bit low for my tastes. Nah, you can do better. You can do better. So let's uh, let's let's have a quick look here. So, Canterbury, but that's Franken now. So what I need to do is convert France. If I convert France, that's three holy sites. That's all holy sites. We just need the Franks to embrace their true nature. And it's, no, it's not starting. This is still in my camp here. Can we push this somehow? Can't send it elsewhere. Yeah, but the Franks have been my allies. I like the Franks. <laughs> but if we convert like border counties, maybe that helps. A Queen Eleanor would have some claims here. Oh wait, no, Frankia doesn't hold Cologne. That's Germany. But they still hold two. Two out of three. We would have to fight all of our Western allies. But you know what we're gonna do? Instead of converting, uh, we're gonna get ourselves a claim on, on Cologne. I don't like Cologne personally. I think it's a horrible, horrible city. But, you know, maybe it was nicer back then. Where is it? Cologne, Dortmund, Claves. Oh, look, there it is. And then we just need to wait out these alliances. Ah, sure, you can have the ransoms. But we don't have anyone anymore that we don't want to ransom, so. Ah, wait, excuse me. What was I saying? This guy stays in our prison for sure. Everyone else, please, please be ransomed. And we have a lot of gold sitting around. That's not doing anything sensible. So definitely upgrade these. For sure, the windmills. And 
this. And... Let's see. Archer maintenance and skirmisher maintenance. Okay. Let's see. We'll go with blacksmith. Um, I'm not sure that's true. We were fighting the papacy during a crusade. Or rather, after... We, we were fighting the papacy and then a crusade started and it didn't invalidate the claim. I don't think a crusade does that. Or these bugged crusades don't do that anyhow. They might. But the buggy version, I don't think they are doing that. Holding taxes go up. Station men at arms. All oh, right, I wanted to do that. I wanted to move some men at arms around. So these guys will put in Krakow. And the house guard go where these guys were. Why? Because the house guard are limited to five out of five. These guys we can have more of. So let's pump the guys that are really, really strong already. A little bit more. Right, new army archers, we can't have more. Right, new skirmishes, we should definitely have full up. So how do we... How do we get... A foreign country to change to our religion? If we are friends... Can I then be like, hey, you want to change your religion, buddy? Can't buy claims anyway. But you would grant me on the Duchy of Galare. So we could attack Frisia. I mean, okay. Sure, I'm not doing anything with my piety anyway. Might as well. Let's negotiate that alliance inside the realm. Too few concubines. Well, we picked someone up. Prisoner with a dead child. Uh, dead husband. Dead husband. Nope, still just the one. Kind of feels wrong that our women are mainly, mainly from the outside. <laughs> mainly from our prisons. I'm not sure what that says about our dating acumen. I will prove myself a worthy ruler. That was a uh, one expensive claim here. All right, but we have a little bit of a holding here right there. So we can just go push claim this. And it's close to Cologne anyway. So. Oh. Ah, okay. Here. Here's what you said. Very good. You were quite right. You're pledged in a great holy war against Sultan. When it starts, this war will end inconclusively. Very good. You were quite right. Artifact claim. It's just such a horrible, horrible tease here. Include our meditation. Very good. Grand tours available. Who has money for these kind of things? Like Even with us having money now, that's not money I want to spend like that. Mm. I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thank you so much. What are you fighting? Attacking and you're defending. Ah. The Byzantine Empire is never doing anything interesting. 
Nothing that could break them apart. Okay. How do we convert you? I don't know. I don't think we can, actually. Like, it just kind of jumped over. Here and there. I think through through marriages. Let's go to the wedding. We haven't gone for a wedding for a while. And we'll upgrade, get get our good stuff in here. Our superior mounts. We'll get a caravan master. Our our woman Yaroslava. She can be that. And we'll take a little bit of danger. We need a little bit of excitement here. Let's go. Our court physician and friend wants to stay behind for a woman. We have enough room. She can come with us. It's no trouble. Seven months. A device. Bastard children. Oof. Thank you. Do I have bastard children? I don't think so. I just have a bunch of children of concubines. Which is fine. Uh, let's sway her. Because then if we start on... Going with... Seducing her, that should be easier. When she's already liking us. This guy knows a lot of languages, by the way. Four out of 11, though. Oh, okay. Could learn a bunch more. I'll help you out of your armor. Don't you worry. Scholar trait. Very good. Hostile scheme success chance goes down. Development growth plus 15%. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want. Very good. And next up would be, given our age, how old are we? 31. Theologian, and at the end of our life, we're going to go for whole of body. We don't need the health benefits early on. So, what if you guys win? I will save my cousin myself. There is no chance I die, so... We're wounded, that happens. So what happens if this, this, if you lose this? What if you surrender here? Clément takes control. Uh. Okay, this could split them a little bit. Yeah, this would split the Byzantine Empire. If he loses that one. A new lover for us. A French Catholic. Sure. Why not? We are, after all, bounteous. Bet you we can't take her as our concubine. Bet you. That's always a sad thing. Help him, Stana. This man deserves my help. Chance we are further wounded. What is this guy even? Yeah, sure. We'll help him. Oh, we beat the wolf. Very good. We managed it. Yeah. I'm afraid of the time when they eventually introduce uh, pandemics and, and, and the Black Death again properly. That's what I'm afraid of. Your entourage tramples him. Nah, we beat him. We're a better fighter than him. But we'll take him as a knight. I think I know a cure. I'm very learned. I should be able to do this. Come on. I mean, so far the events on the travel have been good for us. Look at how far we're going. 
such a crazy travel. Really nice armor you have there. Care to share a coin? Sure. Why would I not want armor? So we're here to... Can we seduce someone interesting? We'll seduce the pride. Let's seduce the bride. Let's see. I can manage things from here. I don't need to. Ah, very good. We became friends with Emperor Bernard. So... Come on, I'll go start learning his language. So another thing about the accolade thing is I can't... I have to go here, and there, and everywhere, it's just... Okay, so what is the highest ranking accolade we have? This one. You will be forced to be a knight, of course. I don't really have many good knights at the moment. A Scandinavian one, a Kingdom of Heaven one, and a Shogunate struggle. Japan isn't even in this game. <laughs> How would you get a Shogunate struggle in here? I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it being uh, expanded to include Japan. Though, to be quite honest... Uh, to be quite honest... Already... Basically, if you're playing in the West... Anything here... East of here, of this line, doesn't matter. Unless the... Unless the... The hordes are really, really strong. Same if you're playing in the East. Anything beyond this line is basically irrelevant. Unless you really want to go for map painting mode, but I don't think Crusader Kings is the game for that. Alright, we should probably go do something in this crusade, shouldn't we? Could... What what is this crusade for even? This. Okay. I mean it doesn't matter. We get zero anyway. The only thing I could think of is go raid a bit. Get ourselves some juicy castles where no nothing is happening, you know. But A faction was created against us. Finnish servant of the land populists. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, Finland is slowly soaking up all these little bits and pieces up there. I'm feeling feisty today. Okay, let's get some more cultural exception as well. Or she comes and joins the court. Who are you even? You're nothing. You're no one. We just have an engaging debate. That's all we need. I mean, I've never even played any of these struggles. It's a mechanic that hasn't really played into my uh, playthroughs at all. Okay, so they're married now. Will I get to seduce the bride? I like that Christianity is now crusading again. And we're just having our little... Oh, he's... It's not looking good for him. Ah, yes. A new friend for us. We'll take it. Not really why we went there, but... Sure. Let's see. Let us sneak away so we can talk... 
properly. Ingeltrude, come join us. Could become our best friend. Nah. You have to excuse me, my friend. You're already my friend. I need to seduce the bride. Can't get friendship between us. And the most important things. Praise the epic couple. Praise the party. Shot. Praise the epic couple. In your opinion, what do the struggles really add to the game? This is very interesting. Approachable. King Thomas has a beautiful accent. Ah. Oh, he died. Emperor Bernard died. Oh, that means we have no more alliance. Oh, what a shame. Uh, we'll, we'll learn King Tomas's language then. So now we can attack the Franks for holy sites. <laughs> no, we're not. Now we're greedy. We take some gold. All right. I always like the the detached nature of Crusader Kings in terms of historical accuracy. It's a remaking, like you're you're shaping the world. I didn't I never liked it in in Europa Universalis. That you were so bound to certain events. Okay. If we push Queen Eleanor's, that would give us nothing. <laughs> Except it would give us room to grow Servants of the Lamb. Um, then we do this one. This will be a long and hard one. But it would be a decisive one for sure. I don't think we'll ever get a better one than this. And with the Kingdom of Westrankia, once she has that, we can fight for the Holy Sites. At least some, I think. And a weakened Frankia allows us to fabricate some claims for the Holy Sites. And then we go for that. So... I think we'll try. Ah, no, you're right. We will. We, we're we're locked now, basically. That's kind of crazy. Again, okay, traveler. Let's see. Maybe we get a good meal out of this one. Present my claim on Cologne. Yes, all of Lothringia will be mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the claim on the whole duchy. Thank you. Hmm. Philosopher culture.
I mean, it only reduces the cost to establish it. We don't get it. Faith, cre creation and reformation costs minus 10% for five years. Uh, but we're not going to have enough learning to get there for five years. So that doesn't really help us. I think we'll take that. Doesn't really matter. We don't have to take it. I uh, will try and be the entourage mediator, which we successfully do. Can ransom a dude. Sure. Let's see if the Pope comes up and is like, you need to send troops. You pledge to send troops. Why are you not sending troops? Send troops now. Ah, yes, definitely go for the potential of improved pastures. Thank you very much. We have learned a new language. Let's see. The Norse language in Germany. We'll just keep learning some languages we can. I mean, if you're already in the Holy War. And we then declare war. Does that invalidate it? I mean, the good thing... Okay, we, we're going to try that up here. Oh, no, we can't. I would have to try it here. How old are you? Are you likely to die soon? Oh. 18 years old. No, you're not likely to die soon. Tell me my future, oh wise one. I'm not interested. Wait, 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 wait. That one is a holy site. That would get us Canterbury. I mean, we can just try. We can just see what happens. Could, of course, wait for them to have internal struggles. Nice was taken prisoner. What? Okay. Happens, I suppose. What can you do? Nothing. Ugh. I don't care. We're not getting anyone lost, and they they always hate being found. So, why would I expand? That kind of effort. Ah, we'll show mercy to this creature. Poor lad. We'll take the reward, thank you. Mainly because we're greedy. Otherwise, I might have taken another option, but... Well, that's fine. Could become one-legged. We don't have any stress to lose, so manual labor is beneath us. In this particular case. And we're back home. No more Regency. I kind of want to go, but I also don't. If they were working, you know. At all. Sell everything which is impossible to read. <laughs> um... I need one of those stones. Psh, yeah. We're learned. We would spend the, the money to... To be able to continue our studies. And the Crusaders are being crushed. Well, they're winning one battle and being absolutely crushed in another. So now we have glasses. 
And so we can continue reading. I love the look of those. Right after they implemented, like, everyone had them. It was very fashionable. But that was just a bug. I think. Okay, so... This is not going anywhere. Will this really be invalidated? I wonder. When they, it starts this war, but it has already started. I don't know. I will just try. I think mainly I don't know because I don't want to start a war during an ongoing war, but we'll definitely call in the Germans. They can help here. Costs a little bit of prestige, perfectly fine. And we'll call in house members. Costs us nothing. Brings in a few people. So we'll raise our troops up here, I think. Down in Ireland. With a pink flag. And... Since they are a pretty big threat, we'll just get everyone going. Maybe one army we kick out. And we'll go straight for Kent. Uh, I try to main subtlety. Do that. So this will be very, very costly. To ship them, to pack them, to feed them, to support them. Okay. And we'll land, we land right there. So 1,000 gold just to put everyone on a ship. Ah, boy. I mean, we could have walked. Could have walked. An artifact was destroyed, that's fine. Oh, look at that. Our ally has already arrived. That is fantastic, so we'll just land elsewhere. Not atop him. How did he get there so quickly? The betrothed of our son Magnus has died. The princess of Italy. Let's see if we can't get you another princess of Italy. Oh look, the Byzantines are in the market. Kingdom of Hungary. Ah, uh, we're not really looking at the moment. They are still using trebuchets, I think. That is cute. Our fascination with cranes is done. I don't think such a fascination can ever be done. Okay, we'll unload a single bombard detachment and start sieging on several spots here. And we'll send... The smaller armies over there. 
to reinforce this. Just in case our enemies decide to make an appearance. So we have two fairly strong armies sieging here. The enemy is sieging our ally, which is good. I don't care. Let him. We might go to Paris once we're done with Surrey and everything. But that takes us time to, to go there. And I'd just rather keep sieging England. There's a lot to be taken here. And a lot of money in it too. 169 gold. Just this one thing. Very good. A competent soldier. A confident knight. Come on, let's get you someone. Let's get you someone. Burgundy? I think we can go with Burgundy. Let's get the Hail Girl. Should we call Burgundy into this one? Yes. Burgundy, make yourselves useful. Let's go. Ah, we should hold court. First petitioner, please. I cannot seize my lord. None of us can. Not until we collapse. Please help us. Dancing. Sounds delightful. Next. <laughs> um... Bring out the leeches. We have humors to balance. I like that one. We'll take it. Fit Caesar learn it, man. By God, he must be stopped. My lord, trying to harm my mother. I have no evidence. Suspect given reputation for villainy. I beg you. I will question King Ulfur. Malice is not a crime in itself. Can't do anything about that. You gain highfalutin. What? How did this woman get in? Anyone? Come on. My business here is done. I didn't think highfalutin was actually a real word. There we go. Okay, so why do we get... Ah, oh, because we're crossing in a barony and we don't have anything directly attached. I will take it. For well, the 169 gold waiting there for us. We've got to recoup some losses here. Where do we go next? 166. Okay, fine. Let's see if the French ever decide to cross the channel. Because they will have to. We can win this. Just withholding what we have here. Okay, we feel accomplished. Now let's try and seduce our our new concubine here. It's probably a learning languages achievement. I'm sure I don't have one. Just checking if this guy here that we caught is a valuable hostage or not. Okay, so let's see. Now that this Crusade is done, will we lose our war here? Will this be invalidated? Nope. Catholicism server is decreased by 15. That hasn't stopped them in the past. I'm sure it won't stop them now. <laughs> okay, so the Germans are kind of spreading out. Kingdom of Africa. You know what? I'll finance it. I'm not pledging troops. I'll give you money. How about that? It's a lot of money, but... I cannot be asked. Thank you. What do we have going on here? Yeah, I'll check the fervor in a second. Oh, God. I'm sure the problem gets fixed as soon as possible. Good God. 
I'm sure it still does. Like, we're over 90% still. We're at 100%, so whatever they have, we're definitely over 100%. We'll be very gallant with our... target. So the Catholics have... I don't know. They have 47. Okay, the French are... No. The Bergen dish are coming. Okay, we gotta start working on our supplies here. Yeah, I think so. That is the most likely explanation for what's happening. They don't have their own feathers, so they're stealing mine. How dare they. So our troops taking back on supplies. I don't want them to starve needlessly. New learning perk. And we go this route because we might need to go for profit. But we have several routes to maybe mend the schism and stuff. We'll see. We are working on the holy sites. Right now, I'm mainly concerned with our finances. Would you look at that? Frisia has joined as well. Oh no, that's still West Frank. West Frank, yeah. Just different bits of them. What siege engines do you have? Nothing. Interesting. How much tyranny to book the Pope? <laughs> I'll check. I mean, twenty opinion from everyone, and a level of devotion, which might not be worth it. Okay, these guys are taking on supplies. I think everyone gets to take on supplies for the moment. Here, walk there and take on supplies. What are you into? Something entertained. Ah, oh, she didn't like that. Ah, oh, well. Can't all be winners. So I'm just moving my troops to get a little bit more supplies, but I immediately triggered all of our allies to shift around where they stand. Very unfortunate. I mean, I had the previous Pope in, in custody. That didn't really help me. Couldn't do anything about it. Let's see. That's a good next target. These guys can have 300, so I want to fill this up a little bit higher before we keep going. So we're done swaying our concubine. Will the French come here? Alright, she becomes our lover. Very good. That's how we want it. They're still fairly young. 34. Alright, I should focus... On earthly matters. I will find my answers in the heavens. Miss Lava can, can deal with us researching. She will survive. I believe in her. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. And again... I start moving my troops and everyone stops with their sieges and whatnot. It's... It is atrocious. This persecution is not right. 
I don't care. Oh, our concubine is pregnant. Can you guys not just abandon all your sieges immediately after I make a move? Really now. Siege one, very good. We'll go take this next. And... Oxfordshire. Look at all these very, very juicy castles. It's a lot of money to be had here. Okay, so the French, I think they finally realize they have to come to the islands. Or they have accumulated enough force so they think that they are capable of defeating us and our allies here. I'm not going to pass any judgment on that. They might have. But I think we're fairly formidable. But they're absolutely losing. We can 100% we can this just with sieging. We don't have to fight them even once. So I think attacking here was the right choice. Though they are coming now. And they are bringing quite a few troops. Ah, oh, little fortune builder. Is your betrothed of age yet? No. So that's 25,000. I think I'll abandon this siege. So that's around 50, 60,000. I will just fight them. I think I'm doing my allies a disservice right now. I don't know, we're having two battles that are both won at the same time. Well, that was good. Stand down our armies. Train commanders again. And now we must convert Canterbury. We'll help here. So that's another holy site in our warm embrace. It wasn't worth it for the land. But we are fighting for our beliefs. Oh yeah, she can serve me, that's fine. We can ask the head of faith for claims. Can I ask for this? Santiago. What is this? Wait a moment. Okay, no. I thought maybe this means that the Byzantine Empire f fell apart. But it doesn't. Doesn't actually mean that. But these are Catholics now, basically, so I can be... Is there... Is there a... Does she this? Can I get a claim for that? No, I don't... It's called Ililikia. Um... I mean, this is, this is all Greek. This is all Byzantine Empire. Oh, it isn't. It isn't all Byzantine Empire. Huh. 
I mean, I already have a claim on this. So just gotta press it in a war. I'm still very confused how we're holding Jerusalem through all this time. It's uh, it's a very odd situation that. Oh, 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 oh. Servant of the Lamb is spreading into Germany. It might naturally get to Cologne. That's good. We just gotta plant the seeds here and there. A new heir. Our little daughter. What will you be? Nothing. So you can be anything, yeah? Let's make you a diplomat. Well, yeah. The Pope might not be able to do that. That's true. But then again, we are not... We're not evil to them, so they can't do that anyway. Oh, that's a big Catholic spot there. We're surrounded by Catholics. Can you believe it? No casus belli to choose from. Well, tell you what, we'll make one. We'll just fabricate a claim here. <laughs> like, I don't need to convert this right now. She'll do that. And it's already in our hands, so it's fine. Oh, that's an Italian bit. Interesting. Oh, look, we also got a chunk out of Frisia. Should we go for this? It costs us barely anything, and he has nothing right now. I might gain learning lifestyle experience. Absolutely, we'll do that. I mean, they have nothing. They're deep in debt. This is just for my, just for my retinue, really. All the map changes. We'll raise our troops here. Just the men at arms. And the local army. So we have a little bit of a levy. A little bit of meat shield between our good troops. Ah, look at that. Let's get married here. How much gain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ecom Dokum. Well, I know Dokum is something there. Let's see. A Christian play of my own. Being called a master thief. Uh, only question is remains who should I play in the role? It is father's time to shine. Horse is a natural charmer. Nah. I'll do it. My diplomacy is high enough for this stuff. What a great night for servant of the lambs everywhere. Nice. A dramatic debut worked out well. So we can push a little bit further here with religious icon. And there are the Frisians right now. Let's go fetch us some. So, equal sized armies. We just absolutely have the, the power here. Oh, the German king became our friend. We will collect our, our thoughts and become a journaler. Sometimes we have these good options to reduce our stress. I like that. It's nice that they're not all kind of bad, sort of. Has become a profit. Monthly piety per night, 1%. And faith creation cost, minus 50%. So we're getting closer to mending that schism. Now let's go and see just some stuff. 
Can I immediately write in my journal? Can I? Write thoughts down. Occupied. Writing. Sure. I dip my pen once more. Given how many of our emperors has died due to stress, I think. We should absolutely be conscious of these things. Ah, yes, my dear duke. You're all the all that matters to me. You can trip up as much as you like. I will always be happy. We're welcoming people. I don't think we need to organize the army. We're still earning plenty. While fighting our little war here. Do we have a siege master though? Yes, but no. Yes and no. We do, but we can't really put them anywhere. So this is not exactly what we came for, but we'll take this stuff down anyway. Should we build more bombards? I think we should. I would like more siege. Quicker siege means shorter wars. Shorter wars means more lives saved in the service of God and country. How's your job going? Nine months left. Okay, let's see. Franks are going to hate us, but... I'm not coming for their land. They need to understand that. I am only coming for the most important, important bits. Ekem Dokem is a Banjo Kazooie reference. All right. Got me beat on that one. Now that you say it, it kind of rings a bell, but never once have I played that. Okay, I don't like that they can bring 258 troops and start a siege. I think that is unacceptable. Ah, yes, our skill in meditation is improved. We can say Om a little bit better now. Let's get Gulders. Now that we've taken Arnheim. A thrifty clerk. Good on the lad. Let's marry you. Wait. That gives us a West Frankian alliance again. Ah, shucks. Well, it is what it is. We have time. Okay. Alright. You you know a whole lot of things I have no clue about. I'm always impressed. Like that's that's something I find really fascinating about the internet in general. You can just stumble upon these little areas where people are very, very into certain things that you've never ever heard of. And with some fever as well. It's uh, kind of crazy. So we got this bit. And you are now my direct vassal. Good stuff. Um, what do you belong to, really? Duchy of Galere. Okay. And you belong to the Kingdom of Frisia, of course. I'm wondering who I could give this to as a vassal. Maybe the Italians? Ah, no, this guy has very few vassals. Let's give him that vassal there. We can have that guy. <laughs> Mewtwo merchandise and inane trivia. All right, that's the that's hobby to have, for sure. Again overwhelmed by stress. 
<laughs> okay, let's um, let's do some activities maybe. Oh, well, we were help helped with stress relief by one of our friends, but still, what? F nine. Let's go have a feast at home. Here in Krakow. Recreation. Let's go. Like we're financing it with money from our war anyway. That we just sieged out of the islands here. Out of England. The Kingdom of Great Moravia looks very small, but they actually hold a lot here. Which I still think is funny that they put their capital down in the Middle East. Interesting move for sure. When can we add another thing? Oh, we can. Right, let's start adding another thing. The last thing we can add. And... Ooh, now comes the big, big thing. Talking about thinking about what to do again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Marital ceremonies. Mm. Ah. Metal workers. The royal armories have additional bonuses in counties. The crown smithy... The Army gold maintenance plus 5% is big, though. That's kind of... That hurts. Disease resistance, prowess, travel speed. Okay. All right. Ruling caste. Cultural acceptance goes down. Staunch traditionalists. Nah, that, that has never been us. Family business. Hmm. Esteemed hospitality. Hybrid culture creation cost. Minus 75%. Cultural acceptance gain. Plus 25%. Extra learning schemes. All right. Castle keepers does sound good, but the cost and it, time increase is just... That's just big. But getting prestige and renown from castle holdings is... I don't know how much, you know? But that could be worth it all in its own. Let's see what else we have. Skirmishes? Nah. Formation fighting experts? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Recognition of talent... Stalwart defenders. Like that one is pretty cool. I think I'd, I'd say. Warrior priests. Eh. Warriors by merit. Most restrictions on who can be a knight are lifted for characters with ten or more prowess. Prowess per level of fame plus one. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, these are also interesting. Industrious? Nah. Forbearing. Life is just a joke. Nah. Modest. Philosopher culture, we reduce that one. But... I mean, it is his choice, kinda. I think philosopher culture would, would fit him. You know, I think that would befit him.
learning education traits and the scholar trait also give cultural fascination progress. But we're pretty done with researching, so now that doesn't help us too much anymore. Pacifists. Mm, no. Connie raids. Nah. Bound by faith. I mean, he's learning a lot of languages. Uh, yeah, only the one that I just talked about, I think. The philosopher one. Yeah, only the philosopher one, I think. So only philosopher culture gives us learning lifestyle experience. So roleplay would say this one. Heart would say castle keepers. Because we have built so many castles. You know. Difficult choice. Difficult choice. I think we'll go with philosopher culture. Let's take the role play perspective here. Plus, we had a bunch of rulers that were really into learning here, so I think that makes some sense to have that part of the culture ingrained. So, does this give us a good bonus to court grandeur at the moment? No, high German is much better. Faction against us was disbanded as well as it should have been. So when does this start? Why doesn't it say? Oh, because I've already donated gold, so I don't really matter anymore for this. Misguided warrior, bumbling squire, logistician. She's an astute intellectual, at least. Interior Alliance. Let's go. What? Did I send away a knight on accident? Um, hey, Edgar. We are a version of Catholicism. We are servants of the Lamb, which is something we created ourselves some some time ago. And it has created a whole lot of trouble <laughs> because I took right to retain the Pope as our head of religion. But now the Crusades are completely bonked. They're not working anymore. They, they keep happening. Um, but they don't actually finish properly. They finish, but they they aren't what they're supposed to be. <laughs> Basically. So no one gains anything. Not us, not anyone. They, they they are being fought. No matter if they're being won or lost, it it is always exactly the same outcome. Nothing happens, basically. It's kinda silly. Kinda silly, I'm not gonna lie there. What are we currently fascinated with? We're working on cranes. Working on that and that. Do I want cranes? No, I'd rather have this. Renaissance thought. So our development penalty only kicks in at 90. Which is good. Let's see. What are our people working on anyway? Ah, tax collecting. No, 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 no. We need to increase our development here. It's slowly spreading. You can tell we are the absolute cradle of development still. 
in the northeast. Let's start our feast. We're doing good here. Let's see. No, I'm not going to spend all my money on this. We should absolutely make sure that we keep building stuff. Especially the cheap stuff. We'll just build some cheap stuff. Cheap stuff that brings us money is, is the best option at the moment. We have horses here. Do we have something that is for horses still? No, we have both horse-related ones. So we could only get a blacksmith, which we already have. And... Could go with militia camps. Get some more levies in here. But I'd rather go for... Hill forts. Let's get some more defenses. Around here. And let's improve our heavy cavalry even further. Let's see. Oh, that's a big jump. That's a 40% toughness jump. And a 20% damage jump. Army movement speed is also not bad. But... The damage jump for our heavy uh, cavalry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll spend a thousand gold on that, thanks. Let's see. Rivalry, potentially. I will go with the interesting conversation, why not? What a man. Friendship with the boys, sure. I have horses. Should I get even more horses? Very good. Eradicated the stress. Should we get even more heavy cavalry? They get hoarser? Okay, you know what? We're gonna fill this out. Full 850 heavy cavalry. Truly heartfelt. Thank you for your little poem. And I wonder who will come to our next feast. The horsiest, yeah. For sure. I mean, they are crazy strong. Almost 400 damage. They will have 400 damage after the upgrade that we just started on. That's just... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, good God. Okay. I misinterpreted what we need to do here. We need to completely control Alexandria. All right. Yeah, I think uh, time for another reformation. <laughs> the servants of the Lamb are going to get reformed. And we'll kick out the Pope. Yes. I don't need to be rivals with you. What is Byzantium fighting again? A liberty war. Oh, I like that. Especially since that's Italy. Let's hope they win. Child of the dynasty, a granddaughter. Very good. I just clicked that randomly. No choice, no reason. No, but let's get her something matrilineal. Kingdom of Bohemia. Mm. Might be inbred. We're not going to do that. Could reset perks and go double down on reformation cost. No, no. I have the time. I have the time. I want more piety by then anyway. It's alright. We're getting there. No worries. 
Duchy of East Franconia. Is that not what I'm coming for? My boy, leave me. Ah, she'll be fine. She need she doesn't need me. A range of betrothal here. <laughs> No, Byzantium, no. I still need to press my emperor, Empress's claims, but I want to wait for that to happen. And we don't have the prestige for it anyway right now. Why are you so weak? Not that I mind, but why? Sure. The great understanding comes shared prosperity. Let's go. Godless, it'd be RP wise because your character is absolutely livid and frustrated with the Pope's constant demands upon the troops and finance of the greedy emperor. Ah, uh, nah, he's more an intellectual than greedy. Like, look at that. If he were both a great steward and greedy, I would agree with that. But the greedy part is a very small part of who he is. He's also calm and stubborn, so. Eh. I like how you think, but. I disagree on that one. Greedy for knowledge. Very good. That's exactly how he is. It doesn't mind the the constant holy wars there. But he would like to stop it. By the way. Queen Slavomira. I mean if we if we if we get her on the throne of the Byzantine Empire, that would check a lot of boxes in that requirement there because she would start reforming them into servant of the lamb a good deed needs no repayment we'll go with that so sure i'll educate the girl no oh my god no I don't, I don't care. I don't want to educate her. Go away. Burgundy. Still only artifact wars. Can't even do holy wars. What populist uprising? Excuse me? Like I wouldn't support my wife? Of course I would support my wife. Fame penalty. Why? Ah, because I can't afford it. Hey, yeah. All good. We could do something about that. I can force myself on her to assist in her defense religious relation efficiency let's go now she wouldn't be a subject she's an independent ruler we would just put her on the throne of the empire she ain't a subject and yeah i can i can absolutely force a subject to stop their war including a rebellion and stuff or at least i should be able to i have been in the past but they're losing the Liberty War here. Against a whole bunch of duchesses and stuff. So that means Italy can come back into the fold. <gasps> a dangerous faction? Alright now. Calm down. They're just really, really mad. They're not very strong, but they're really, really mad. I already paid. What do you want? Fine, I'll join your next silly thing. I mean, subject is a topic of not not of subject as of vassal. What? God, it's getting late. Servants of the Lamb appears in the Duchy of Uguladat. Where's that? I mean, okay. It's not really where we need it, but we'll take it. Oh, would you look at that? Germany is oh 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 it's it's growing it's growing 
Very good. We should learn more languages while we still can. Before that goes away, before we are too old. Can we do more languages? I think we can. Just need to find any. Nope. We'll abandon it. Darn. I thought I already could. So I'm not gonna put a beneficiary because it doesn't matter anyway. Tight knit for 25 years. Close family opinion plus 15, sure. <laughs> okay, we could play with her and have all that, or we could be like, remember to study, girl. And I think that's what he would do. He wouldn't be playing. He would be, remember your studies. Don't be a fool now. There's things to know and learn. The prince will be our beneficiary. Another faction created against us. Would you? Would you look at that? How dare they? Those little peasants. Yes. King Muslav. Thanks. Oh, we're so close for a new thing. Oh, no, we are actually not. We're just done with the splendor. Oh. Don't cry. Do not cry. Our beloved little son. Who's our heir at the moment? This girl. I'm fascinated how long we have managed to stay alive with the Crown Authority 4. Wait a moment. You lost, but they did... Oh, Liberty is just lowering Crown Authority. It's just lowering Crown Authority. Okay, then. Ah. Don't have enough prestige. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get there. First, we have to face all these factions at home. Come on, Crimea. Come into the fold. You know you want to. We haven't onboarded anyone like that in a long, long while. Very good. Excellent indeed. What? Okay. Something happened. I don't really care. Uh, let me check. What do you belong to? Kingdom of Saphorisia. Yeah. Very good. We fixed our relations with our daughter here. So Saphorisia does not exist. We could create the title. And then we could give it to someone like that dude. Eh, where is it? Crown titles, Kingdom of Saphorisia. And then I can probably vassalize this lad as well. Okay, not yet. Well, we could fight it. We could fight to vassalize them. Our daughter is welcome in my army. Ah. He's not really great. Listen. Listen, buddy. Listen. I appreciate it, but our army is literally not a nursery. You want to send your pregnant daughter to be a, a soldier in my army? Have some sense. And if you can't have any sense, maybe go find some. Because that is just silly. Silly, 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 silly. Honestly, I like looking at our religion slowly spreading. I like that. It's appearing. Oh, it's appearing. Oh, it is appearing. All over the place. Even in Orthodox. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a moment. That is looking good. That is looking very, very good. Our fervor is just 
insane. Ninety nine percent chance I get nine hundred gold. I would like to bet. Don't bet, kids. It's a terrible habit. It will ruin you. <laughs> yes, our religion is indeed a beautiful pox upon East Rome, as you so very beautifully put it. But that means, to mend the schism, we might actually have a good chance now. This has to stop. His genius will be nurtured. A courtier's whisper. Repaint in the wake of inspiration. Yeah, let him paint. You fools. Petitioners, forward. What do we have? We shall have... Nah. Open carry. Let's go. What do you want? Okay. You start a war against Amil. Okay. Sure. What claim? Emirate of Syria. It's a beautiful day for war. Let's go. Um, my steward will help you. Business is done. So we're at war now. I understand this correctly with Syria. Okay. How strong is Syria? 10,000. That sounds like a mission for the A-team. But actually, we're going to raise way more than just the A-team. And then we'll take Syria. For no reason other than we can. Or we are very likely capable. It's not a big place, but... You know... Why not increase our foothold here a little bit? It's always remember to set your marshal to organize your troops when you are at war. Especially if he's a good one. It'll save you massive, massive headaches. Alright. Let's group these folk. And let's march. It is a Syria's undertaking see a new steward needs to be found and look at that our son who is so very capable will absolutely take that mantle how oh, would you look at that they are there to defend their homelands brave brave soldiers <laughs> all right okay they're not all that brave then then again, it would be stupidity more than bravery sitting there. Never a peasant is a lot to serve their lord. Oh no, the dangerous, 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 dangerous peasants. Where are they? Oh, uh. Oh god, our empire is too big for this nonsense. Oh, look at them. They're right there. And we don't even have a flag at home. That's unacceptable. We'll just raise the local army. Yeah. I think we can stop that. And with a proper commander, even a completely useless army will absolutely demolish an even more useless army. So we needn't worry much about this. Should be done quickly. And we have the defender advantage and everything. It's crazy. Our commander is the child killer? 
Oh. Biblical scholars generally hold that he missed the point of Solomon's ruling. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. 50 days. I'll take that. That's okay. We'll enforce our little demand. And this boy here, he will make a very good knight. Demand conversion, recruit. And he'll also be my executioner. Now, just come on board. Be my knight. In the past, especially early on, these are probably your very, 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 very best bet for good commanders and knights. Our daughter and knight will be forced. This guy will absolutely be forced. Let's see, can we appoint some accolades here? Ah, and he can immediately become an accolade knight as well. That's pretty cool. And our daughter can also be an accolade knight. Also pretty cool. And we have a successor here. Another daughter of ours. Look at that. That's looking great. That's nice. All right. How's Syria going? It's going okay, I would say. So we go south, they will probably come and try and retake this. Now that we've lost, uh, no, moved off, not lost. I need to make a little bit of an effort to look at this army so they don't starve. Ah, there they come, trying to retake what we just took. Good in them. Good in them for trying. It'll be a death sentence, certainly, but... I'd rather they try than not. Let's go meet them. Oh, they have bombards. They might finish this before we arrive. We learned the Lehithidic language. We feel accomplished. Very good. Okay, next language to learn for us. Mm -mm. You got a language we don't know yet. Let's go. Oop, I went a little bit too far here. A flamboyant trickster. Which is not the same as an arcane trickster, I was told recently, so. Make of that what you will. Another Frankian alliance, Grand Emirate of Egypt. No, I think we'll rather go with Italy. Italy or Hungary, you know. Something internal. And that's that. So we can't stand down our troops right now because we are again in a holy war. So we'll just send them over. We're fighting for something there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack... Mallorca, maybe? How much money is there to be made here? Not enough. We'll take something here. On the coastline. And we need to make sure that this boy here knows what his job is. My man. He will convert immediately. Excellent. Blessed be God. And now let's get you married. Matrilineally to a daughter of ours, maybe. But that means 
they are also no longer my knight. To granddaughter. I can have her. She won't be a knight. So Syria will be in our bloodline. Excellent. And we've got the internal alliance as well. So he converted, but his flag is still Islam. What am I to think of that? All these Christian alliances here. Ah, yes. Possible chance they die. But they totally won't. I saved a life today. Big loyalty hook. She's worthless, though. Okay, and we got another thing here. Realm Priest Opinion plus 50. Yeah, let's go. Not that we need it, but I'll take it for sure. Oh, look at her. I was kind of wrong. She is a good soldier. But that isn't the one we promised there. So let's get you someone. Not another West Frankian, though. East Franconia. King of Lotharingia. I mean, maybe. Eh, sure. We kind of exist in the middle here. And then we have basically all of the Christian rulers here. In an alliance with us. This here is monumental. Servants of the Lamb spreading all over. It's very good. And I think we might have enough prestige to slowly start attacking the Byzantines. Oh! Kingdom of Lotharingia is calling us in a war against Germany. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. What do we make of this? We make of this that Germany is not currently interested in joining the Crusades. We will be the first with our troops here, so let's... Redirect real quick. We'll take Mallorca. Uh, good question. What type of war is this? On the on a duchy. Which they might win before we even get to show up. They're basically taking everything right now. Can't be helped. Oh, sorry. But we need to get our troops fed somewhere. This place won't be that. Okay, now they're starving. Did that give us war score? Yes, did this give us anything here? Yes. Will that count? No. <laughs> it definitely will not count again. Ah, God. Not the child of our dynasty. I don't care anymore. You dare insult me? Estonian classics, that's it. Easily read fables. Yeah. Very good. Oh, I think I want to bring my troops home. 
to bring them home. Nah, we won't, we're not gonna be able to help. Let's bring them home. I don't want them to starve anymore. And wait, we are not gonna change the tide of war down here again, ever. There's still some Catholic holdouts here and there, but Servant of the Lamb are spreading. Do we have... You know, we're just gonna go build some temples around here. We can afford it. And every temple build is good. Increases our fervor. Some more coming of age here. So we can just do that. Fill the... Fill the border regions. A little bit with new temples. Okay, our troops have arrived, but they are not really somewhere where they can full fill up. So we have to split them. That way they can resupply. And then we can just go siege something in Germany. <laughs> just so we can say we were there. We didn't entirely fail. Oh yeah, let's go on a hunt, sure. And our goal will be... Not recreation. Oh god, we're riding hard there. Let's try and befriend someone. Who would need befriending? This guy doesn't love us yet. Look at that. Look at him go. He really wants to get he wants to get there. This is a waste of my time. I won't even think about it. I don't even listen to what you have to say. But we could get Grisson down here. That could be something to get, you know? I'd like that. What do we have here? Franconia being completely obliterated is what we have here. So, going north... Nah. And another language learned. Let's see what else can we learn. Give me more languages to learn, people. Learned here. Ah. The East Slavic language. How many languages do we know now? 8 out of 13. We'll keep going. Okay, now we're losing supplies because we are over the limit here. Oh, could do some sparring. Um. Yeah, we'll increase the martial and get the prestige. 99% is basically 100 here. Well, strong. We'll heave wagons out of the way. All right, let's get going. We can basically wave at our armies now that we're down here. Oh, the king. The king Casimir. Oh, he's... Hello. That's a lot of money you're bringing there. Thank you. An arranged betrothal with the Byzantines. No. I know. I, I feel like they know what's coming. I feel like they have an idea. An inkling. Of what's gonna happen here soon. Another Bistrik. They're all being named after us. We are an iconic fella. 125 living members. Did we have more before? Oh, 456 of the dynasty and only the house is 125. That's pretty lots. Pretty, pretty lots. Well, 
we'll just group this army if the game ever allows us to. Siege boy. Oh, sorry. Siege lass to the front. So we showed up in the crusade. We showed up to this war. No one can tell us nothing. We are being good. Good about our oaths and our everything. Let's get zanked, Gallen. Will the Germans come for us, though? That's the question. Will they bring down the hammer with their 61,000 troops? That's pretty impressive. A new chancellor? Uh, okay. Our nephew and vassal? He's a strong vassal, too. Let's put him in. What happened, though? Where's our son? No idea. Another tough soldier here. Lifestyle. Level of devotion impact plus 100%. That one's also pretty big. Oh yeah, I think the uh, Lothringian troops were just cleaned up a little bit. So we're just kind of prolonging their suffering with this. With our sieges here. Oh, this is interesting. Zank Gallen is actually a theocracy. So, opposed as to most feudal holdings, you don't have to just take the the the, the castles and everything, but you have to take this one because it's actually the capital to gain control over the county. You don't see that often. Titles can be usurped. Ah, doesn't matter. Prisoners can be ransomed. That's more interesting. An Amira. For 100. I'll take that deal. Okay, Germany is coming now. Question is, are they coming for us? Or are they coming for the... For the Lothringian still? God, we're starving again. Like, I don't want to fight them. That's not what I'm here for. Closer to a friendship with us. Sure. We made a friend. So we didn't get all of Zirik either. And again. Oh, yes. Let's do the little betting here. 900 gold for us. Thanks. And we get the little paw that we can also turn into gold. <laughs> so I think we'll split our army. Split our army. Put one here. One there. Might have to split them further just to recoup here. No. Daughter, no. No. You have a spouse. Renaissance thought has been done. Very good. You should pay me for the prestige I brought to your farm. What do I care about this dupe count's opinion of me? That's right, I don't. And travel is... You know, usually that's an expensive thing to do, but... For us, it appears, it's pretty... Pretty good, yeah. Contribution zero. Catholicism's fervor decreased by 15. So, let's see. And this war he has lost as well. Oh, damn, I need to find a Catholic. And the next war. This will never, ever stop. 85% with our 100. 
Okay, all the fascinations are coming in now. So... Cranes? Development growth, that's what we want. Eight months. It's both exposed and our fascination. The rest, I don't care so much. Vassal limit plus 20. Eh. I'm nowhere near that, I don't think. Let's see. Now, Vassal limit is a little bit hidden. Where was it? Tax jurisdictions. Wait. I never did this. This is a new feature with the last patch. I never did that. Do I need to do this? Manage taxpayers. Point tax collector. How does this work? Oh. Okay. Oh, right. This is only for clans. And... Ah, that's why his flag looks like it looks. He's a clan. He's the only clan we have. Okay. Let's get our daughter in there as a tax collector. So now that dude is paying. And the tax decree is basic taxes. Okay. Gazi status. Less levies, more everything else. Okay. So we just go with basic, which is more or less balanced. Could go with Sakat, which gives us more of everything. But he hates us. I think I can live with that. But honestly, it's not worth it, the few extra gold. Alright, okay, interesting. So just kind of waiting for this war to be done. For them to finally give up. Ah, no, what a shame. So sorry. Did Germany take a big bite out of you, despite you sending for me for your help? Oh, no. Big shame. very unfortunate. Ah, we're not gonna go for an activity where we're not gonna arrive in time. That is silly. Let's see. Always on the look around us. <laughs> God, that took me. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome. That was also a follower goal. Interesting. Uh, but I, I finally I, I finally fixed it. The things are firing again. Look at that. Awesome. I managed. <laughs> Another little last here for our dynasty. Huh. Do we attack the Byzantines now? I think we shall. It, it has been a long time coming. And financially, we're much, much better. Well, attack anyway. I don't think anything's gonna happen. The Byzantines don't actually join these wars. So, we'll try. Let's get our allies in here. All of them. West Francia, you come in. Germany, absolutely. Burgundy, you don't get a choice. Lothringia, you get to not do that. House members, Sweden. Oh. Everyone get in here. How many to getting profitability? You mean followers for uh, Twitch? Or... I mean, we're profitable here. We're sending everyone. And we'll we'll raise our troops above, across the river. Not right there, but close. Um, to affiliate status, I only need 10 more followers at this moment. And then I got affiliate. Uh, to, to, to partner status... I don't know if I'm ever going to get there, honestly. I'll have to see. It's, Crusader King's a little bit niche, and um, it's all I'm doing for the most part, really. So, we'll have to see. And and the D&D &D stuff is even more niche, so. We'll see, we'll see. 
But for for partner status, you need like 75 average viewers for a month. I'm I'm hovering around 3.5 or something, which is which is pretty damn good, honestly. I'm super impressed with that. But still, so we'll raise everyone here. This one is a war where we bring everyone. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna consider it not bringing everyone. We are fighting for our wife here. Our soulmate. Understand? There is no hooing and hemming and hawing about this. This will be done. With the full might of the Carpathian Empire. Will we go south? And fight. A little Margaret. Let's get some Servant of the Lamb names in here. Let's see how much it'll cost us to have our full army actually running. I feel it might be a little bit. A fortune builder? Let's see. Uh, another West Frankian girl? No. Duchy of Beneveto. The Egyptians? Kingdom of Romanga. Sorbia. Valachia. I mean, here we could get um, we could get our bloodline on the throne. I think we'll do that. It's internal. It doesn't really matter much, but that brings our bloodline into the into the mix here. Let's see. Okay, twelve gold for seventy-five thousand troops. I mean, I've paid far more for far less. And we learned East Slavic. So let's work our way south here. We're going directly for their throat. Directly for Byzantium. But we'll build through it slowly but surely. Let's see. I can learn a new language. That was what I was starting to look for here. Volga Finnic. Let's go. How many languages is that now? Nine. I have a feeling at ten languages there might be an achievement that I don't have yet. Let's kill this. Everything else is kind of fine as it is. Ah! Achievement unlocked. There it is. Polyglot. Personally, no ten languages. What? Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It doesn't count your basic... It counts your foreign and your basic. So you have nine foreign plus your basic one. That's why. Very cool. Child of our dynasty. Let's go. Clemencia. And you will be a theologian with that kind of name. Um, Let's increase our feudal taxes. Sure. We are at war now. We need the money. Successful business endeavors. Yeah, try. 75% chance. Yep. Did work out. So, of course, a force of this size is completely and utterly unsustainable in terms of feeding them. So, what we're going to do is we'll try and split it in sensible chunks here. So let's get our siege army ready. Bombard, bombard, also the pike. Because the this is the army I'm most likely to forget about. So they are most likely to be in a defensive position. Even though they want to be. They don't want to be. So that's what we're going to do right now. Split our armies around a little bit. So we could have started elsewhere, of course. But it doesn't matter too much. Oh god, the twins are coming in now. Peter and Margaret. Certainly. All of our children are getting children now. So what I want is basically have decent control over our army. 
And since we have all this landmass here, we can kind of work our way south with sieging. While still staying somewhat safe. That is an ally coming in. I don't know where his troops are. They're here. Okay, he's fighting something. He's, he's busy with something. Not with us. So we can just work our way south here. And our allies will likely start working in as well. Promissory notes are done. So let's get the next thing. Noblesse oblige. I think cranes. Like, you can't even find the vassal limit. It's such a hidden thing. That was what we were looking for uh, before here somewhere. There. Vassal limit. It's such a non number anymore. In Crusader Kings 2, this was a very, very important number. It was like up here somewhere. It was super central and important. Now it doesn't matter anymore. You're, I've pff, I've never gotten above that. Even when I did Daura Dorama, the, the achievement to unite all of Africa, never got it. Never got even close to that being an issue. And I like that we are still good on money. Like, Minus two gold for 75,000 raised? Kidding me? Oh no, a Burgundy alliance has expired. Shame. We have time. Everything we're taking here is part of the war. Everything we're taking is part of what we're fighting for. Yeah, oh, yes, bring in the queen at once, hello. 600 gold? You are financing our war for several months with this. Okay, we'll bring our troops in. The Germans are showing up now. We seized an ancient plaque. Which I hope isn't from dentistry. Let's see. It's still 40 gold. I don't mind this. Oh, you guys are done. Should definitely continue south then. And we'll bring these guys here. So they will eventually have to face us, or we're just going to walk all the way down to Byzantium, basically. That's what's going to happen. Now we can't go anywhere, we have to kill this first. So we go help. And we'll keep following along with our armies where we can reinforce them, sort of. And we'll split them further where we cannot. I don't want to get to Constantinople and have our troops be exhausted. Do we join the hunt? Nah. We're concentrating on a war right now. That's more important. Okay, now we can go here. And we can further follow up with our troops south. Just a little daisy chain. And our allies are very kind in taking down the enemy further. Let's see. How many men-at-arms regiments can we have? Ten. But private army is plus one. This is a dynasty legacy. So this remains the same. So what we could do is get more bombards. Of course, we could get other things as well. But we could get more bombards. Which I think, you know... It would be more bombards. Oh, look at that. Our enemy is fighting their enemy right now. Well, the Byzantine Empire is kind of in a tough spot right now. But that also means we're likely to inherit their war that they're currently fighting. 
We can now march on Constantinople. Maximum more, much maximum siege. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's bring in our armies. I'm not too fast about ensuring that they can resupply anymore. I just want them close to our armies. So we got plenty, plenty of manpower around here. I mean, the Byzantines are no chumps for sure, but... Well, we're a little bit worse at the moment, at least with our allies. Excellent. While well, Constantinople fell like a rock, it didn't make a good figure there. Okay, we'll merge these armies here and push toward the, uh, the Byzantine armies, I think. We don't want to fight the enemy of our enemy. We just want to fight the Byzantines themselves. Though they might start a battle there. Let's see. Let's watch. Defender of the faith. Turn again. Goes down. Salad Vassal Opinion goes up. Okay. So that would be a balanced fight. That's 160,000. That's a little bit. That's an army. And that's that. Okay, so what happened is several things. <laughs> so, um, our dear wife, the Empress of Carpathia, has ascended the throne of the Byzantine Empire. So she's this now. And we can offer to join a war. Because we're immediately allied. And we're basically right next to the enemy. So we can help her out there real quick. Our allies, of course, aren't going to fight in this anymore. But they needn't. Oh, you misheard. I called him a sensible and a stallion. Good with language stuff now. This also means, if we look at the line of succession... If we look at the line of succession for the Byzantine Empire... Yep. They're not gonna be our... Uh, our vassals, but our family is now basically in the driver's seat here. So this army will just follow them and fight them because we just crushed the Byzantine army. And I don't care so much that we are going to lose a bunch of troops here because we have so, 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 so many. Doesn't matter. I will just kind of siege through this. The schism? Yeah, that's a good question. And first of all, let's get the religious view. So this is all orthodox striped for conversion for servant of the lambs. So that's pretty good. Second of all, We do not completely control Byzantium, which is this, which is kind of weird, but that might be a matter of time, really. Antiochia, which is over there. Now that's Catholic. Antiochia is Catholic. And I'm not sure if it's even Byzantine to begin with. That might be Syria, isn't it? No, it's... No, 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 that's the Byzantine Empire, I think. Or it's Egypt. It's Catholic Egypt, maybe. Alexandria is definitely Catholic Egypt. So... Constantinople is under rule. I mean, we're... We're getting there. We might have to fight uh, Catholic Egypt. 
But this, this is an important day for us. This is an important day for us. We have achieved great things here. What? Our daughter has fallen? My brave daughter. He will not get away with this. You fiend. You will be pinned. I never pin anyone. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I think it is a very good achievement as well for us. Oh. Okay. So our our daughter was avenged. Thanks to our vassal, King Yorva, who is an absolute giant of a lad. So that's done. But he still killed our daughter first. Okay, let's... Oh god, let's ransom some people here. Uh, where do we need to go? I just press all the buttons until I see prisoners somewhere. Pop, 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 pop there. Let's go mass ransom this. I don't think I have anyone left here. I don't care. But the new dynasty. So what will he go with? Studious youth. Definitely. He already told one of his daughters to go and make sure that he uh, that she that she also learns definitely he pushes in this direction absolutely i don't even need to look at the others this is an rp decision through and through all right and we'll just keep sieging this stuff down oh that's where i need to go Wonder if the Byzantines are even capable of spending anything in our army. Not yet, really. So this army is a bit of a threat to our siege army because they are very close now. Whereas our army is pretty far away. But that is why I put the pikemen in with this army as well. Because they are our very best defenders. Uh, we don't want them to attack our wife there. Hello. We convert to Catholicism. <laughs> I didn't want to hear this kind of talk again. No. Let's just go away. We're definitely not becoming Catholics. Are you, are you kidding me? So they're sieging Constantinople now. Which I think is kind of weird that it's so easy. It, it, it is a 25 level fort with 5,000 garrison. I mean, it's taking four months, but still, that they even can do it is a bit sad. Okay, cranes have been discovered. A little Blahomira. We had an empress of that name once. And now we just go with noblesse oblige because... Ermine cloaks we just really don't need. Let's be quite honest there. And that finishes this war for Constantinople. And then we could send our troops. We're still earning money. We basically have everyone raising. We're still earning money. Consider that. So do we send our troops? I think we do. I mean they're raised... It's going to cost us a lot of money. 600 to get them and see. But there's no one here left to fight for us, so... I'll just go. Okay, you want me to get this... Oh! I know just the place for him. Finally, you send me a good soldier for once. Okay, so he had to pay 2,661 gold to our wife. Oh, big ouch. And we got a whole 90 prestige because we helped. I think allies in war should get more than just a little bit of prestige. Honestly. What the hell are these? 
Where did they come from? County of Krakow, extra development. Yeah. I'll go with that. Let's have a compromise here. What the heck is all this Saidid? Um, that is a participant in the crusade. So that's why they're highlighted like this. They're still part of the Byzantine Empire, but since they're friends in the crusade, that's why they're like that. It's just a feudal kingdom. Servant of the Lamb. The right kind of Christian. The only kind of Christian. The spread here is not quick enough for me. A call to war. Sure. I'll help you, dear wife. Oh boy. Oh goody. Oh lordy. Oh no. Um. Okay. Alright everyone. Alrighty. Yeah, we would have, we would have, we would have to have to do something about that. But right now they are actually against us, so... Suppose we're gonna send our siege army right back, turn them right back around. And, oh, I think this army also goes back home. We got bigger foes to fry now. Which is a bit of a problem. Ah, uh, we'll send them... There. There's an army coming. Okay. Why should we stop being lovers? I mean... Can just stop being lovers with our wife. <laughs> nah, we'll just stop being lovers with... Zalma. She's still our concubine. That's still fine, but... Okay, this might be a bad choice, what I'm doing right now. I just want to get some land in here. Early. But we definitely have to fight this, otherwise she's gonna be dethroned right away. And we don't want that. Okay, we learned a few secrets here. So what I'm gonna do... Is I'm just gonna send... These guys to attack... Any headquarter here. Like there, basically. Oh no. Okay. Where do we send our troops? Oh, okay, that's not a big army. We can't fight them. I thought they were much bigger. Okay, but they're going this way, so we're going in this way as well. We're starving a little bit, so that's my main concern right now for our troops. Our siege army is coming around. And then we immediately fight them. care about the secrets go away with that why is espionage always the most underbaked technology and function in these games stellaris anywhere you look it's always the least fascinating interesting bit of paradox games such a shame so i think we could resupply in byzantine and constantinople direct Need to be a little bit careful. Oh, look at that. More enemies landing. That is lovely. That's beautiful. Come to me. Yes, thank you. Look at that. So now they have recently disembarked minus 30, which is horrible for them. Absolutely bad. Couldn't be much worse. Isn't she lucky to have us? Ah, oh, we get a rough gemstone. Thank you, my daughter. So 
So now I'm just sitting here to resupply. Our enemy will move somewhere. We'll see. We might have to be kind of quick on our feet to defend our army in the south. Yep. They're already moving that way. I don't care about all these schemes. Stop it. Okay, so what we're going to do is split because these lands here are really, really rich. So it's going to be easy to resupply even large armies. And these guys have a lot of stuff going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is not friendly territory. This is friendly territory. Got to resupply the boys. And the lasses. We got lasses in our armies because we're very inclusive. And we're very progressive. Let's ransom us some more people. Oh, you know what? Uh, no. I would like to negotiate releases. Demand conversion. No? Okay, fine. Nah. We'll try and demand conversions where we can. I'll send my troops immediately. Ah, do I pay? We break our alliance with Pope Urbanus. I apologize. Should not have claimed I helped. I would help. It's clearly I'm not. Demand conversion. Let's go. That's how we do it now. This is how we get the servant of the lamb out there. We just demand conversions. They will go spread the word. They were spared the news. Because they saw the light of God. This is how we crop dust the world with the true religion. The only true religion. Convert, you fools. Convert and be free. I don't want to hook. Go away. Everyone who converts can go for nothing. That is all I want. For you to see the light. To be free of your burdens. Your fears. Your sorrows. Come and be forgiven. Be a lamb. Graze the fields in peace and prosperity. Ah, uh, I think you're important for the war, so you can't go. Farewell, everyone. Farewell. Spread the word. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, mistakes might be happening behind this. Behind all these messages right now. But I don't think so. <laughs> Everyone's going. Huh? How are we losing this? Oh, sh oh, they got her. And they're not gonna ransom her either. No! Our bid has failed. Because she got imprisoned, the, the fool. <sighs> no. Ah, the pain. The absolute pain. Pain and suffering. Will our troops change anything down here? No, they will not. Ah, darn. That is so unfortunate. That was sad. Uh, 
Ah. What happened? I mean, she still has a claim. We can we can try this again. And we just might. Okay, we're gonna stand on our armies. That's fine. 12 months. It's not really good. <sighs> so close yet so far. We were doing so well. Destroying everyone. For our beloved wife. That's become a theologian. Try and deal with our loss here some somehow. So that probably puts a dampener on our mending this great schism here. Yep. Well, Constantinople is still under our rule, but everything else a bit of a problem here. Darn. What am I waiting for? I hope you don't want me to wait for standing down my armies because that's done. Um, no, not our heir, but her heir. So this guy here will get a pressed claim, yeah. Not until she she dies, but yeah, she has a press claim. So we will be able to try this again and again and again. And eventually, we might just succeed. Uh, no, yeah, sure, they are our children, but it doesn't really matter. We got Ultimo Genitor going, and her titles do not, so it's never gonna be the same inheritor. Unless she would appoint them, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Oh, look, Bavaria is without a boy. That means I can get you someone better. I have an unwed son, huh? How about that? Let's get Bavaria in in the hands of our dynasty. Okay, so Lothringia is no longer allied with us. Well, fine, happens, right? Burgundy is no longer allied with us. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that! Well, look at that, that, that. I'm finding more and more interesting little potential here. <laughs> do it. Uh, let's go. Do it. Yeah, I think. I think. Burgundy, it's your time has come. Oh, the problem is our troops take a lot of time now to be raised. They take 12 months now to get here, because we just stood them down everywhere. Oh boy. We'll see. The Burgundian exception. I don't care about secrets, go away with your secrets. Get a good trait in here. Oh god, this is so painful to watch. Our troops being raised so ever so slowly. Oh no, and the Burgundians are coming. I hope they just siege and don't start coming straight for our troops. I mean, they, they shouldn't know our troops are here. They shouldn't know that. They don't have sight on this, so I'm assuming they're only coming to siege. Of course, if they spread out to siege, they might start getting close to seeing. And then they might start pouncing. Though, then again, how many troops does Burgundy have? 30,000. How many do we have here? 20, 30, enough. 
And our retinues, our men in arms are already in there, so. Might as well stop the gathering of forces. Combine up. I'm I'm fascinated that the crusade is actually going places. For once. And now we attack. This guy. He has been leading our armies so proficiently for such a long time. That should be fine. Like, we, we have double the numbers. King Birstik meet Emperor Birstik. Or Bistrik. Thank you for the gracious gift. I appreciate it. By the way, chat, if there's anyone here who has any sort of question about how to play Crusader Kings 3. Anything that confuses you, doesn't matter what the level of question might be. Even if it's just super basics on succession and stuff, always feel free to ask. Yeah, I would say this goes our way, certainly. Our brand new skirmishes are doing their job. Alright, so we're gonna go the coastline. That is the most certain way. Why do we have only 120 bombard? That means some bombard wasn't raised. That means that is unacceptable. Why can't I move this flag? Okay, it was moved. Let's get the rest of our bombards in here. What can we do? Should just be bombards, really. Okay. It's bombards and pike. Oh, it's our siege army. Our second siege army. And we can split them. Very good. So now we can have two armies proficient in sieging. Wait a moment. Okay. We have to take this first. So we'll split some off here. Some levies like that. Send them with them. And... I mean, it doesn't really matter where we lose the food. I'll we'll just stick to, to the army. Stick close. Or do I not care? How many troops are we losing here? 2,500. Yeah, I think I might not care. Very good. Cadet branch. I have never cared about that message once in my life. So where are the Burgundian troops? Oh, I think the Crusaders are being slaughtered now. Where did you send your soldiers? You should have sent them to Provence. Ah, there they are. Is he coming to fight us? Yeah, he is. So we're just gonna combine our armies right away. No point in trying something senseless. Okay, so this army goes here, this army goes fight them. Isabella might become our lover. 29 year old irrational empath. She's a bit thick, but. I mean, he's, he's kind of into this kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm sure he would take another lover. Especially since he had to break up with one. He likes to live the fullness of his loins. Why do we have so many things pop up here every single time? Like, only one is new, but we get the number five there. It's weird. While we're here, let's repair everything. And also get an antiquarian, maybe. Our daughter, for sure. 
I wish there was a repair everything button. And that's done. You want to purchase a truce with us, Sweden? I have no intentions of attacking Sweden, so might as well let them sell their truce to us. Alright, so this isn't looking good for Burgundy. It's looking very good for us, though. Our troops will eventually starve. Not a question. But at this very moment... Looks like Carpathia is growing again. There they are, the Burgundian troops. I'm sure they're going to come for this army. But they will have to go a long way. They have to bridge here or they have to go all the way around here because this is a big river. They can't ford it. So we have plenty of time. I don't need to move my armies. They have to go like this. Because we're blocking this with our main army. They're not coming in here. No way, no how. The Slovian culture has embraced the philosopher culture tradition. Very good. We started this recently. So. Oh. We got a black boar hide. A small war ornament. Illustrious. Men at arms maintenance. Minus 8%. Percent. Hello. Very good. Um, court artifacts. Let's go. So I only want... Okay, so... Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to consider which one goes out. And I think the boar hide has to go... Yeah, I think the wild boar hide goes. Especially since this is just a better version of it. So just hang that there, repair it. Costs us a lot, but that's fine. I really don't know how these are constantly full up. I don't repair them. Like, basically never. No idea. But that's nice. Got a nice little trophy out of it. Oh, we ran into a little Burgundian army here. Let's enforce our demands. Big problem for him. So... Yeah, Sardinia is its own thing now. Because we took Burgundy into our fold. And Burgundy did hold Sardinia as well. Fair enough. Very good. Very good indeed. And they are part of our dynasty as well. That is very lovely. Love to hear it. Love to see it. So something I'm a little bit worried about is that we're not the jour liege of any of these at the moment. So there's a lot to... Interesting, okay. So only Bavaria and Estonia and Novogrod. These are the only ones not considered de jour vassals at the moment. Let's integrate Bavaria. Let's have him work on that. 23 years. Do we see that still? Ah, 79. That might be very, very late. Uh, 67. 69. 69. Can you people stop calling my daughter bad names, please? Makes me sad. New perk available. All right, now we go into anatomical studies. Now we start with the whole of body tree as we reach the end of our life. We need to stop and resupply. Where can we? Oh, where really? All of these aren't really super suited for that. Hmm. 
So that was a pretty darn good move here. It also brings us closer to potentially having people in our countries that do have claims down in Spain. And there's a good chance someone here will have a claim somewhere there. So we might be able to wage actual wars, not these pointless holy wars that never go anywhere. Everyone taking on supplies again? No, you don't. You guys aren't. Let's get you to Montpellier. You guys are fully stocked up. Very good. And our vassal is immediately embroiled in a war for the crown. Which doesn't matter much to me anyway. Oh, actually, that's not even what's happening. What is happening? That might just be a duke. Count versus count, something like that. Okay, you guys stocked up as far as you can, but there is just not enough supply limit here. Look at these underdeveloped backwater country things, places. It's horrible. Where am I supposed to resupply my troops like this? Nowhere is where. It's crazy. I can't work like this. Oh, we only really need to bring them back from the cusp of utter starvation. Everything else is optional. I will write to him at once. Sure, we'll try. How much? 48 chance it goes well. It actually worked. Nice. Okay. So the Crusader armies down there are fighting hard. But I think they're getting completely obliterated. Yeah, our troops wouldn't have changed nothing there. A hundred thousand. I like how predictable they are, though. They are not crossing into our lands. They are just hunting crusaders in their homelands. That's all they're doing. Okay, now they're crossing. I'm not going to be able to fight 100,000. Just so we're clear here. And these armies are not going to attach to us. We can try and fight them like this. Where they are a little bit split. But they're definitely going to immediately slurp together and attack us. So this is suicide what we're doing right now. Show the Duchess in at once. So why am I doing suicide? I don't know. We just won. It's time for us to be taking a, down a peg or two. Let's be humbled here in Spain. Let us be shown our our limits. I mean, we're fighting pretty well for what we just did here. And the Crusaders are piling in, so... You know, we'll see. Could be an utter, complete defeat and disaster for everyone, and I think that's what it's gonna be. But at least we got everyone united. We got everyone betting on the same horse here. It's a wrong horse. They shouldn't have. I knew what I was doing was wrong. They should have known that as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get a physician here for our daughter. More of our daughters are getting hurt. Hurt all around. Oh, boy. Oh, Monica's aptitude is excellent. A court physician 
Yeah, we'll get the good court physician, thanks. Yeah, I think so too. Let's push for a better, quicker end for a crusade. Wait. Why didn't we get the good one that I just paid 450 gold for? What's that? Did they immediately die or something? I am a simple certain... Okay, so they do tell you kind of what you should take. Time has come to treat your daughter. I'm certain simple treatment will suffice. It won't be that clear all the time, but they, they tell you what option to take, kind of. They might be wrong, but generally... It's pretty good. Oh my god, all of our daughters are hurt. Or are we just getting the same event like 15 times in a row? How much war score did us cost this battle? 20%. Ooh. Oopsie. Was that me? I think so. I would like to stand on my armies now, please. But I can't because, well... You know what, if we fought them in a defensive position in the mountains, we might actually win that. It's kind of crazy. It wasn't that uneven. It's just pretty uneven. So we're coming back in here. Uh, no. We'll go with the trusted pen. So fighting here is silly. I'm not going to go in that battle. I want them to attack us. Okay. Fine. Everyone is piling on. We'll pile on as well. Let's go. And it was the right choice to pile on in this one. Crusaders are actually winning. Okay, we're done with our fascination. Let's go with that. And I think that's all. I don't know if I ever researched everything that I could research. We actually did it, lads. And lasses. We fought them and we won. I'll go directly to the worst position possible to set up a new siege. That isn't even the worst position possible. It's just one of the worst position possible. Because it's so far away from everyone else. That is crazy. How much was that battle worth? 28%. Hey, we made up for my... Brilliant strategic move. I did that so everyone would be a little bit more motivated. Um, she's very competent. Sure. Let's go. Let's be sponsored. What do you want? A little bird. My lord, King Urginimil, your insatiable vassal, is one behind Queen of Murder behind the closed doors of your castle. I swear that with God is my witness. I need more reliable women like you. Come on, join the court. Let's hold some court as well. What do you want? A scootage contract. Novogrod can keep its warriors. Sure. It's just 1,000 off. It's nothing. Uh, very well, you may proceed. Sure. A cadastral survey. I don't know what that is, but let's go. Unfortunate, but not the crown's problem. My business here is done. We need to do something about our stress. Oh god, no. We'll go for Comfort Eater. 
since we didn't get a choice here, sadly. Okay, so let's go. What? Why did we just get back in here? What was this? Huh? Scary when the when the game does things on its own. It's scary. Let's see, let's meditate in seclusion. Comfort our own castle. We need to do something about our our supply situation once again. And there's really nowhere to go here. We do have to go back to our own lands. I don't understand how they keep running around. I'm just constantly trying to rearrange my troops. I wish they added like a button for that where it could just be, okay. Spread out to resupply. That would be great. Okay, will the Crusaders throw away the progress now? No, they will not. They are actually taking good fights here. Uh, this army here is still bad. This army is too big. Fine. Fine. I don't even mind resupplying them, but it's just... It's so inconveniently made, you know? Could be so much simpler. Oh, we're losing money again. Interesting. It's probably because we don't have a marshal. Our personal champion, commander, and knight. Development progress goes up. Sure. And back to... Oh my god, look at that. From losing money to earning almost 70 gold. Okay. Okay. We'll go with the with the health tree first because we're growing older. I mean, all the health tree is the health tree, but we'd like to be very healthy in the health tree. Let's upgrade some stuff here. I'm not really going to look all that much. I just want to build cheap things that give us money for the moment, as well as blacksmith. Because they are really, really good. And here we have some horses that need supporties. Let's see. And we want to improve our heavy cavalry further. So we'll spend a bunch of money. We're earning good. Might as well spend equally good. Let's upgrade the stuff that gives us money. I'm not even going to look all that much into how much it gives us in return. We just want to get it on win. And that was, I don't know, 3,000 gold spent right there. But finally, we have managed to spread our troops far enough so we can resupply. Oh, look at that. A masterful sword, an illustrious weapon. It's actually not that bad, but it's not better than what we have. Shadley. Uh, number of knights plus two. I'm sorry. Pursuit efficiency, knight efficiency, doesn't matter. Number of knights, that's where it's at. Okay. I wish they would only have the little resupplying I can go away once they're actually at 100. Rather than close to 100. I mean, 80 is close enough, but... It's still a bit of a problem. All right, everyone. Let's get back together. And we'll attack this castle down here. 
I think. I won't even try and spread my army or keep it split and do anything cool because Crusades are always an absolute mess in terms of navigating who you have where and everything. It's just not worth my time. We conclude our meditation. Oh, look at that. The Crusaders are seeking battle again. We might have to go there because that doesn't look good for them. I think they took the wrong fight. I mean, it's looking good right now, but there is a bunch more coming. Let's see. Sell everything. No, 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 no. Wait. I already have glasses. What are you saying? I mean, I understand that I might need new glass from time to time, but... You're pretending like I need entirely, like, I never even had glasses. Like, you're telling me something new about glasses. Look at that, the Crusaders are completely crushing it right now. Even without us. Fantastic. Let's go get Albunt. Or, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna go for uh, Valencia directly. Crush whoever is sitting there. Take it. Maybe crush this army on the way. So victory again. Um, but doesn't matter. Literally does not matter. It's inconsequential. These wars are doing nothing. I don't think it's just us who doesn't get anything. I think no one gets anything out of these. So the best you can get out of these wars in this absolutely bugged save game is just literally being there. That's that's the best you can do. Just siege some stuff, get some ransoms, convert some people. It's the best, absolute best we can do. So let's send some uh, servant of the lamb folk down to Andalusia. All right, more missionaries generated out of thin air. Well, not necessarily thin air, but from hot air, kinda. Let's go. Very good. So all these will be yelling at us in a moment that they absolutely accept and that they're so happy and why could they be not happier about this? I don't even care about the money we might be losing by doing this. So let's have a quick look around. What's the state of Europe? At the moment. Do we attack anything? Is there even anything to attack for us? Ah. Lots of these have obviously purchased their truces. Should we just push this? Get the Kingdom of Sweden in? Uh, I mean, they are nothing. Which sounds mean, but it's true. Let's see about the Byzantines. How's our truce coming? So, she has a claim on a duchy here. Down there. What? Okay. Nah. Okay, where is... Oh, right. Our wife is no longer our vassal. So, we can't press her claim. That's what's going on here. That is what's going on. This is not really anything interesting to push in the Byzantine Empire anymore. Darn. Wasted our little opportunity there. Nope. I want to see what we can do in a war with you. Oh, look at that.
We have two dukes who would like to have this. Well, this guy is not a duke, but... Duke Humbert of our dynasty? Now he's a carling. I mean... You already have things down here, so it would be a fairly easy thing to do. I would imagine. Really don't need it. See? Let's check our religion. Uh, we're not growing closer to Cologne. Or Santiago. Alright. I think with almost 4 hours 45 minutes, that'll be that for today. Be sure to leave a follow if you haven't already. Uh, we stream Crusader Kings 3 on Mondays and Saturdays. Tuesdays is generally something else like Micro Civilizations, Assorted Games, some D&D stuff. But sometimes it's also Crusader Kings 3. Uh, oh yeah, raid. Maybe. Got anyone? Got any raid goals? That would be interesting. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, go and check out the Twitch and vice versa as well. Thank you so much for being around.